All right, hello. Welcome to Plus One Shot, where we plus one the shots. Nope, don't so like I it. So I should go get shots. Uh, yeah, they're important right now. Vaccines, mm -hmm. do them. <clears throat> oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, it's been so long since we've been eligible. Uh, go on. <laughs> <laughs> so, hi, here we are. Um... After a week, back after a week, instead of after 69 days. It's pretty cool. Pretty excited about that. I think we're all um, pretty familiar with what's going on, but why don't you guys give me a little, little lowdown of what happened last time? We did it. We are the proud champions, temporary residents of a Nautilus submarine. Yeah. That we are taking home because the bad men did things to it and we don't like it. But before we mm -hmm. take it home, we're going to complete our quest with it because I don't want to swim that far. <laughs> It'd be fun. Agreed. So yes, we found a magic uh, stone or two, and that allows mm -hmm. us to commune with said Nautilus. But most, I think most importantly, we made at least a solid four-ish pirate ghosts. And I That's down. true. I that is the most important thing. Nothing can convince me otherwise. <laughs> well, as long as they only haunt that spot of the water and not this Nautilus ship, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once it stops becoming a ship, then maybe they won't be able to haunt it. We threw their bodies out of the top. So yeah. They, they're more like to be where their bodies are. And their bodies are yeah. way the fuck back now. They can haunt some sharp that's how it works. holes for all I care. <laughs> uh yeah so does anybody have oh who did who does anyone remember who had the stones for controlling uh, i believe that was dilly yeah i uh, think it was dilly or you because uh, okay. she was upset about the fact that the uh critter was enslaved to the power of the stones and so she and she's it's adding with it. Gotcha, gotcha. I mean, it's simple conversations. So it's mostly pictures in her head. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, that works. Um, I was going to ask a question. Mm -hmm. Oh, do we have, um, I guess, would we need to use the bottle? Do you guys think, uh, should we use the bottle to try and get the last of the directions or... Do you think this we can because uh, this thing had a place it wanted to go mm -hmm. so we could either try and let it go where it was going to go or should we try and uh, direct it I'll remind you that you actually did pull out the bottle last time mm -hmm. and it, it just gave you the last couple lines again yeah mm -hmm. I think we're going the right way we just need to follow it all the way down to the bottom yeah, worst case. Right. Yeah, worst case scenario, we follow it to where it's going and negotiate with it if it's not where we're supposed to go and just have it take us up to the surface and then we have another boat that we can use to get the rest of the way maybe. Worst case scenario. Yeah. So, at least there's you know, we won't be stranded at the bottom of the ocean. Maybe if it'll give us that uh <laughs> if it'll do us a solid and just drop us off at the top if we're not in the right place. Yes, if directions like incorrect, go up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, well Dilly, oh. if you'll lead it to it or have it lead us there. Lead on, gentle Nautilus. What kind of noises does a Nautilus make? Probably bubble noises. Yeah. More like the noise of what, the, what it sounds like as it like bubbles. Yeah. Mm. yeah. It does a little bubble jets to noise. go. That's the crabby noise from Pokemon. Cookie, cookie, cookie. Barble, barble, bitch. Barble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they literally say cookie over and over again. I thought they just say their name. No, no. Some, Specifically, some crabby. Noises. Crabby just makes noise. Hmm. They didn't want to have to explain why it would work. So they're like, crabby, ah, it just crabby, makes noises. Crabby. 
You try making making words without vocal cords. Mm-hmm. I mean, okay, look at so... every dragonborn in D and D. They don't have lips. <laughs> fair, totally fair. Yeah, how okay, you, fair. How do you puff without <laughs> lips? How, Just do. I hope. I hope you're having a good day. Yeah. <laughs> the Colville alligator method. Yeah. <laughs> I think that sounds like a fine idea. <laughs> Just open mouth the whole time. Yeah, look, look, my dragonborn character is not going to speak like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's magic, don't worry. You're more like a Babylon 5 style dragonborn. Very nice. Lips, the yeah. coolest invention. Yep. I'm yep. a fan. <clears throat> hey. Yep. yep. So anyway, the Nautilus sort of uh, gives Dilly the impression that you're maybe a little bit less than a day away. Uh, well, at a normal pace, but it's excited to not be, you know, enslaved anymore. So it's willing to, you know, yeah, shoot, shoot some some ass to get there. I don't, I don't know right. how you would describe the movie. Blast the ass. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's willing it's willing to push through the water. Yeah, there you uh, go. Gotten a lot of use out of that button recently. Yep, it's true. It's really easy to do a good swish swish to get there. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> All right. Well, I mean, Dilly will just uh, kind of go like, I don't know if we're going to feel the speed, but Nautilus is going to go faster. Okay. Maybe hold on, maybe not, don't know. And uh, you guys do, in fact, feel, uh, well, it's sort of, it's like, is it is that good? Is that cool? Because it is still under the spell, and it, it needs your permission. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So as soon as uh, Delilah tells it that it's fine to go, it goes. Uh, you, you know, you know, a high, a high, uh, what's it called? Just a high powered elevator. You sort of like feel mm. that lift when you first start, but then once it gets moving, you're fine. That's kind of what happens, oh, but you know, before? yeah, but like yeah. sideways. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> like with being on the metro. Yeah. 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 That's, yeah. that's, that's yeah. a better actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah. clears throat> so it is going and you have a little bit less than a day to screw around. Is there anything you guys want to do in that time? I guess converse and play music and I mean relax, right? Yeah, I mean, Dilly, Dilly would just take the time to go and look at all of the, the runes that were everywhere just because it's a, a learning experience. Um, she doesn't get much of those. Uh, and then that's really all she would do and, and then take not lots of naps. So many so. naps. Mm -hmm. um, you guys can go ahead and give yourselves a long rest also. Yeah, I think yeah. I think we did that right at the end of the last one. Yeah. So, okay. yeah. that's good we just yeah you have that down we're good i was confused i'm like why do i have spells <laughs> uh, definitely uh while we're underway you know no alexos does not help fix this stuff it, it's probably going to get all torn off of this nautilus anyway because this door and the hatch are broken they're not organic parts of the nautilus i don't believe Correct. No. So yeah, then he doesn't care about fixing it. Whatever. Uh, do you guys inform your your crew <laughs> what's going on? Because they're sort of they're sitting in there. You hear it. You hear. Hello. Oh, I guess we should fix that door again. <laughs> oh wait, yeah. we can't. Can we? I ain't fixing that. No, Me like you sh you shattered it twice. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, eh, as long as we can get in there and out of there, it's fine. Don't we have the the, the guy? Uh, that can repair wood stuff. He has still not been seen. <gasps> Where is he? He's yeah. in my A. He's mm. probably dead. Oh. Um, <laughs> I mean, we should go. We hunt the ship for him. We we search. We're just like, what happened to that woodcutter guy? <laughs> he could probably fix the big door. And we're all just like, wait a minute. Who the fuck yeah, is he? I think we skipped a couple rooms, or at least one. We could go check. But I mean, they're, they should all be underwater, so it's unlikely. Yeah. Well, but he could be. Know. I mean, we definitely should, should completely search the place while we're going, just so that as we're resting, nothing pops up out of those rooms that we haven't gotten to. 
Yeah. Remember, um, Philip did, mm -hmm. well, not Philip, Neros, right? Neros mm -hmm. down there? No, yeah. it was Theros. Yeah, I took two of the other guys. I was like, tell your friend to leave. We're trying yeah. to get you guys out of here. I don't want. So, unless uh, somebody was like, oh shit, I'm going to stay hiding because maybe they won't come in here. So it's a good yeah, chance good there's chance. nobody left. Yeah. I mean, hmm. may as well just do a once over just for security and then all this is going to go just, away at some point. Well, and, and since we're not rushing, trying to find stuff, now we can just be kind of, we can just mm -hmm. try to figure out. Open stuff up, about poke it. around. Yeah. Yeah. Neighbors would probably want to uh, sort of search the uh, cabin, the um, captain's cabin. Not necessarily looking for anything like super specific, but would just sort of look around there and take note and anything that he thought could be useful, um, whether it's like information like on shipping routes or manifests or things like that to help. Um, keep that yeah. keep that in your pocket. We're going to – since like four people have said something they want to do, we're going to start from the beginning. and. Sure. Denitra, is there a specific actual conversation you wanted to have with anybody? Uh, she she actually <laughs> wanted to go check on you know their their mundane crew members to see if they were like okay after all of this, um, and you know comfort them if they needed it. So she was gonna like play music for them and be like you know don't worry. Okay. Yeah, it's been a rough few days, but don't worry. <laughs> you the familiar, yeah, you hear the familiar voice of Sadi between or behind the door. What? What was that? What? What just happened? So a lot of things, and so she like explains <clears throat> to the best of her ability, <laughs> just like everything. You hear? Like, yeah. You're not you're not really sure who it is uh behind him, but you hear somebody like, Oh fuck, we almost got murdered again. Sadie's like, So are we gonna get like a bonus for this? Like you look maybe back to depending on, you know, everything else that may or may not happen on this trip. A solid, but, a solid yes or no would be nice at this point. Well, yeah, but I don't, I don't determine that. So you hear his brother? Can you ask somebody who does determine that? Do you want to come out and ask him yourself? Into the water? Oh well, I mean, yeah. Hold on. About the most threatening <laughs> thing you could have said. Come out here and say that. Blub blub. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the water. Hold on, let me go. Let me go get somebody. <laughs> so, uh, for our edification, DM, did we pick that storage room clean, or is there still stuff in there? Which one? The one that had, like, the cloaks and stuff in it. Oh, no, there's still stuff in there. Yeah, so. So we have treasure. Mm-hmm. That we can give out. Mm -hmm. So while Mira's, you know, going up to check on that, she's just like, wait a minute, there's a lot of stuff in there. Yeah. Hmm. And we would all know that, even though it's been a bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So she she goes back down. She's like, yeah, yeah. I'm. There's definitely gonna be, you know, a, a little, a little, a little bonus for grievances. You know, just don't worry. <laughs> and she like she is putting on her best reassuring voice. And for some reason, they believe you. It's probably because you slept with a couple of them. Uh, yeah. But you hear She's... you hear the like soft voice rumble. Yeah, the soft voice rumble. Oh, man, good. Yeah, great. That's great. And then a couple of like, yeah, we better, though. We, uh, for the record, though, it's all water out here, so you all should probably stay dry in there for now. Yeah, like, that's the only reason why, like, we haven't come to get you, because there's just, you know, we're basically inside of a, a giant Nautilus. And she, like, launches into how cool it is that they're in a giant Nautilus, and she she explains that it's alive, and she's, like, petting, you know, a wall, like. <laughs> Sadie's so, kind of like, uh-huh. 
so yeah once once we get to where we're going and you know we'll be able to get everybody out like out of the water situation so just sit tight um do you guys like need anything i can come play music for you guys is, is would that be nice there's a, a soft rumbling inside as they sort of talk amongst themselves yeah i guess for sh sure thank Yay. you yeah she puts them on a little concert with her pan flute and her little harpy thing i want you so to realize that underwater, underwater. <laughs> okay maybe not the pan flute there <laughs> <laughs> hey look it might sound cool uh you remember that, that little was... mermaid cartoon like they were able to play horns and stuff underwater so. that was a cartoon teacher this is real. yeah this is very <laughs> this much is more real. realistic you get your head in the game i mean it is a magical pan flute but i don't think the magic applies to being actually able to play it Tell that to any caster underwater with verbal components. That's Let's fair. just uh... yeah. That's why I'm like it should work. Like I I should be it's, able to I mean, play. You still it's... say the yeah. word versus like, yeah. Blub, blub, blub. <laughs> yeah. But it's like how does dissonant whispers work? They they need to be able to hear you. Blub, the water just makes like... it more dissonant. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I or just imagine down. like you say a dissonant whisper and it comes out as a bubble and it hits the enemy in the yeah. ear and they're like, oh. Well, there you go. <laughs> just cast the flute towards them. The bubbles, they'll hit them, they'll hear it. Yeah. As soon as the bubble just one note at a time. You're going to die. <laughs> no. Just one note at a time. <laughs> okay. It's, it's a very watery performance, but it's a performance nonetheless. And it's nice. <laughs> haunting they might say <laughs> I think you actually do have haunting panpipes <laughs> oh gosh <laughs> there are panpipes with haunting yes let's look at what your panpipes are because I'm curious now <laughs> yeah, Theros goes to like one of the only other dry places he can get to and just like sprawls out on one of the uh, the cell doors just tries that, to, like, I was gonna himself. say the cages <laughs> It's the only other dry place he can find. He's not going to open the door and risk drowning everybody. So he's just like, oh, I'm so waterlogged. I hate this place. They actually are. Who can like haunted. water? They sure are. Ha. Ha. I mean, you know how much this fur weighs us down? Oh. Exactly. <laughs> waterlogged. Like, it's, it takes the house like, an extra hour to dry off just because he doesn't have a towel. He's just laying there, letting the water slowly run off. And he's like, oh. All right, I need to go I'm in. so tired. Mm. So I'm going to ask you guys to talk amongst talk amongst yourself, class. <laughs> we could always uh, do play bring, Hits Up 7 Up. Do you bring up the pay to Nerus? Didn't you go I... off to raid the captain's cabin? I mean, I mean, yes, yes but, but I didn't, I didn't know, know if you said you were going to, like, go find him or him being me. If you Did you say or... money on the ship? Because then he heard it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm like, it's like an alarm. It's like an, alarm. It's like an alarm spell. Yeah. yeah. Plus, we're used to being underwater, so we definitely could hear the pan flute, even if it wasn't good. He, he has a very specific trigger to uh, a passive perception magic that is just tied to someone saying, pay you. And then it like goes off like a buzzer in his head. <laughs> Who are we paying? What? No. How much money am I giving up? We don't very know. Much oh, picture like a Mr. Krabs scenario where like a single coin hits the ground and then Nero pops his head. He's like, money. Yep. <laughs> uh, so yeah, he would, uh, if it came up beforehand, he would, would make note that yes, he, uh, he understands the hardships uh, that the crew have, have seen. But he doesn't state an amount. He's just like, yes, I, I understand, and they have undergone hardships that were not not expected of them. And it's very sad for them. Mm -hmm. I think uh, if remembering that the inventory space still has stuff. I mean, Dilly would love to look for more magical things, but yeah, I think. I I, He's I, totally going to ignore money. He's just going to look for stuff that looks like interesting. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What can I, I sell? Michelle mentioned something that, like, when we first saw it, there's only like a few magical items. The other stuff mm -hmm. was more mundane. But I, I could be misremembering. I, th I think that's true. I think we're on mundane treasure. Oh, yeah. 
so yeah, but I mean, yeah, there's, you know, we could find some unique weapons or tridents or, you know, barrels of, I don't know, mm -hmm. wine, maybe I don't know. Oh, barrels yeah. of money even. Woo! Yeah. Well sealed wine if it's underwater, so. Mm -hmm. Imagine how much it would hurt to be hit with a barrel full of gold coins. <laughs> that would suck. I had that in a campaign that I was running once. There was two barrels and they opened one and it's like, there's a barrel of wine. And they're like, oh, sweet, we'll have a drink. And they open the other one and it's just like filled with copper and silver. And they're like, oh, we're rich. I was like, it, it's copper. Yeah. 20 bucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they were like, do we even take this? I was like, I mean, it's, it's a heavy barrel. If you want to try and drag that thing home, you're more than welcome to. And they're like, Nah, it's not worth it. Okay. You roll it, it's a barrel. <laughs> or you could just dump it out, get all the silver pieces. Exactly. And then take that. Leave the pennies on the ground, take the dimes. <laughs> yep. Uh, so other than the uh, talking to the crew, what did some... So I know I, I mean, I Dilly's just trying... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, Dilly's just trying to figure out the spell that it's under. So that's why she's looking at all the runes. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you and I would probably first head to the same spot then, because the captain's quarters had the the runes on the inside mm -hmm. when we uh, we saw yeah. when we broke the door. Yeah. So like, while you're rifling through shit and looking at stuff, like I'm just looking at I'm looking for runes, and then anything other than the door. And so if I see something sparkly, I point it out to you. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah. yeah and I probably. I know that you know if, if I want money, I'll just come and tap you on the shoulder. It's like, hey, can you buy me something? <laughs> um, but she's she's not gonna put anything in her pockets and be like, hey, this looks pretty. Is this like worth anything to you? <laughs> you know, like oh. I'm like, uh, yeah, I could find a use for it. <laughs> just pockets yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. He'll he'll help you look at the uh, different arcane runes and try and because we read it the one time, you know, and it sort of gave us the password. Yeah, but maybe figure out like how they're inscribed and and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to find like anything I can use to. Were, yeah, they were a combination of things too. So. But. Yeah, yeah, because I'm trying to find. I don't know. Like, I kind of want to say like find materials that show that these were pirates and like we're mm -hmm. gonna return their stuff because that's the good thing. But if we mm -hmm. return the stuff, then we can't sell it, and that's <laughs> the money thing. So universe right. is very conflicted. We could definitely just report it and and see if we can't find someone who had a bounty on them or wanted to know why, and then just sell everything otherwise. I'll be right back. Yeah, uh, we found a these. There's a bounty for these pirate sets. So it's a good idea. Yeah. Plus, there may be a you know finder's fee, or mm -hmm. that's not the right word, but uh, for being like, hey, we found all your stuff. You want your yeah, waterlogged axes and nets back. <laughs> it's gonna be. I mean, at the very mm. least, it's like we turn them in, and we also say there's also this strategically placed stronghold, right? That mm -hmm. might be taken over by other pirates if you guys don't take care of it. Yeah. So. Very true. Yeah, it's definitely worth telling them, and you know, we're gonna have to figure out how to get all the stuff out of here onto the boat when eventually we leave this thing. So Wait, we, am I making another mm -hmm. boat? I mean, yeah, we can't keep this thing forever. Maybe probably. And we're going to have to get back. We don't like, need okay. a crew really. Otherwise, because I think yeah. the crew that was in here was only just for security purposes. Yeah. There's and nothing to do. And raiding. They weren't like manning sails or doing any other work. I guess they were cooking too. That's about it. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. We did have the cook. Um, yeah, so whenever we free, the, free this thing, we will probably need to pay this crew to get us back home. Mm -hmm. Yep. So yeah, we'll most likely. And we'll have to offload everything that's in here into the ship, because at some point, all of this like scaffolding and, and building on top of this Nautilus, mm -hmm. and like, within, you know. it's going to go away, or like at least a little bit? At least it's going to become dilapidated. Yeah, they'll probably... Yeah. Break some stuff so we can mm -hmm. heal. We just spend all of our time like breaking the uh, the internals and uh, mm -hmm. casting healing and stuff like that. <laughs> just a whole bunch of healing words over and over again. 
we just you know pull it into the dock and retrofit it back to a nautilus that's how it works <laughs> mm-hmm. question like would you use healing or mending on a nautilus shell yeah. i have both yeah. like, like ask ask the nautilus and like maybe maybe you would answer like I mean, yeah. it would probably be mending the shell yeah mm-hmm. and then and healing on the fleshy parts the yeah so that's to regrow something that's what Alexis is doing. He's kind of securing the ship, just checking every room, and then talking about logistics, which he is surprisingly good at. Very nice. Suspicious. Yeah, yeah maybe suspiciously. All right. Yeah. So I, th- I think the next thing we were doing was me and Tiki in the captain's mm-hmm. quarters. Yep. She's checking out the writing, and I'm I searching his work. Okay. Oh, the bottom of my nose is itchy. Itchy. Okay. Are you guys gonna head down there or just stay up here? You can stay up here. If you yeah, want to. we were. Yeah, we. Oh, you want to smooth the characters? No, no. I, I just said you can stay up here if you want to, but I was just asking. Okay. Yeah. Anyhow, um, so yeah, um, were you able to actually open the door before? You you weren't. You were able to just until you got the crystal. I don't remember. I believe I put yes. my foot through it. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, that's right. And I put the imp on the inside, and then I can mm-hmm. see that's through my was. imp's eyes. That's okay. right. So when you but guys I think had... the imp did grab the crystal. Yes. Because so that's where we got the first set. Down there. <laughs> what a fight! Uh, don't say anything. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> so when you guys head down there, uh, the door is still closed, so you're going to have to figure out how to open it. Um, wasn't it something like, um, to the spoils go the, to the victor go the spoils? Yes. Okay. So, yeah, so I think we, I think we had done that before or part of it and the other part, because half of it was for this door and half of it was for the vault doors. So you did open the door before then? I think so. I think we have been inside. Well, you remember the, the password, so door is open. Mm. Yay. So, yeah. Um, I guess I will investigate around. Rolly, rolly, roll. 22. Don't nice. find anything. I'm just kidding. No. No. Where do you look? Yeah. Uh, can you sort of describe what it looks like? I really don't remember. Is it? I'm guessing he has okay. sort of like an office and a bedroom. I'll tell you in a sec. Uh, so yeah, when you go in on the, on your right, there is a shelf of tomes, not books, because you're underwater. Yeah. They're, uh, leather pages. They're like special Triton books or, and, and, uh, tablets, presumably. And then, um, in from that, there is a desk also made of stone, but um worked in such a way that it kind of looks like it was made of carved wood <clears throat> this is a very fancy desk there's not anything else really special about it but you imagine they either stole it from somebody who was very well to do <laughs> or maybe this captain was very well to do to begin with um do you, let's see from there in the the opposite back corner of the room, there is a bed. It's, it's not as fancy as you might imagine from like the pirate movies that you've seen in real life. It's not in the fake lives because there's no movies here. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, it's sizable, just not extra fancy. More practical. And to then... add, oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. I was just going to say it doesn't really matter, but to add, Atlantean books are etched coral stones on strings. There you go. There you go. Today we learned. Yep. I was like, I should know that. Let me go find that. <laughs> <clears throat> and then in the the last corner of the room, it's just kind of uh, a bunch of compartments, almost like shelves, but on the floor. So like think think IKEA square shelves, but on the floor. It's almost like honeycomb facing up oh uh, okay mm-hmm. and then uh there's a bunch of spears and bows and things in there for some reason 
then um, uh, Nerus will sort of look through some of the tomes, uh, see if any of them are, if they're like stories, you know, like things like reading material, he, he'll skip it. But if it's like, you know, an accounting ledger or anything that is like a, maybe like a real journal, he'll, he'll look for that. Okay. Um, as you poke around on the shelves, you do see that a lot of them are strangely stories, but intermingled. Actually, yeah, that was a really good roll, so I'll give this to you. Um, you find one that's labeled as if it were a story, but it has a strangely different heft to it. It makes you want to open it. And when you do, uh, you do find a ledger. Sweet. Hidden book. Hidden book. Hidden in plain sight. It's a book within a book. So you have uh, found um, a record of everything that ought to be on the ship and the island um, updated until about probably three or four days ago. Okay. It's a, it's a big storybook. It's a big. Like, this is... He'll, uh all of Aesop's fables or something. <laughs> Damn. He'll, uh, he'll pocket that for right now and when he's it's when we get back way. to the group. Oh, okay. Well, um, okay. Then I guess he'll just sort of like hold hold it under one arm. Um, and then he'll check the, uh, the, the shelving type thing, the honeycomb as you described it. Okay. Shelving. See if there's anything interesting in there or... Give me an investigation roll. Give me an interesting roll. Investigation. 16. Okay. Uh, amongst the different little, little honeycomb bits, you see one really ornate bow. So everything looks pretty normal for the most part. It, it strikes you as odd that this stuff is in here, but amongst all of the stuff that looks pretty mundane, there is one bow that looks extra, extra fancy. <clears throat> okay. Um, yeah, I'll take note of that and uh, sort of like throw it over my, or hook it over my shoulder. And then uh, lastly, just sort of check the bed, see if this is the kind of guy that shoves gold into his mattress <laughs> that'd be super painful nothing particularly special about the bed uh there's a, a trunk like a, a flat wide trunk underneath has some clothes in it they're pretty nice clothes this is a fancy man uh i may rummage around and show some to dilly and see if she fancies any of these uh garments yeah but uh, otherwise he's pretty nervous is pretty happy with his clothing choices What do you think, Dilly? What's some fancy pirate man clothes? I mean, she could always use a jacket, but none of his his, his uh, lower half is going to fit unless he's well, he's a toga pirate because pa pants aren't a thing. Yeah, toga. <laughs> toga pirate. Yeah, they're just like they're just brand new. So, I mean, we'll look to see if there's like a really cool cloak. Yeah, do you see? He probably like, good, choice. good choice. Yeah, three really. Really pretty nice cloaks. One is uh, teal with a bunch of gold filigree across the bottom that looks like uh, tentacles and seashells. Ooh. One of them, one of them's just purple, purple with kind of um, a texture to it, almost like crushed velvet, but it's not velvet. So it's got that like okay. that sort of texture, but only visually. <clears throat> okay. And then the last one is just brown, but like a really nice chocolate brown and it's got like a seal fur on the inside mm. I mean she would like to see if there's any hint of magic to any of these cloaks so can she roll an arcana yeah just to, like when she's touching it okay nice 20 even with that roll it just kind of seems like they're normal really nice cloaks no magic here Okay. So she's going to bring all three of them up and she's, she wants to keep the brown one okay. just because it's like 
at nice seal. It's it's blend brown blends into everything. Um, but the pretty cloaks, the you know, she's thinking maybe Mirror would like one of the two. So, All right. yeah, yeah, if you don't want the purple one, Nerys has a real affinity for purple. It'll go with the uh, fabric like wrap that he stole from uh, address long ago. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it, it's like she'll 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 dollop up the the brown one, but like the one that's got the seashells and the tentacles. She's like, I hope Mira likes this one because it's got all sorts of stuff on it. Okay. So, because you know she's thinking birds like shinies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Plus Mira's kind of a bird. Clothes. Yeah. I'm so. gonna I'm gonna write down what they look like because I will forget. Yeah. Got me a nice fancy purple cloak. I like how well, you, you were like, like a jacket. Nerus Nerus likes what he's wearing. Oh wait, it's purple. Give it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like damn yeah, right. That purple uh, nautical themed one. Then he's sort of like over the shoulder and ties into a knot that is, is also classic purple. In that purple in this time period is the color of royalty. So Absolutely. oh yeah, mm -hmm. yep, that's exactly why I picked it. Guy. So another reason why Dilly ain't touching it. <laughs> <laughs> brown is good blends in oh seal fur that's deliciously soft <laughs> even though if the one is the one that has that velvety look like she will keep touching at it every now and then just because it's like tactile tactile girl <laughs> but yeah so she'll she'll bring that and she had wanted to just see if she could figure out anything more with the runes that were up there um Okay. I don't know that she's necessarily uh, that she's good at writing stuff down, but she's got a decent memory for remembering things. So oh, that history when they really matter. So she's just gonna like stare at them to kind of like will herself to memorize what the runes look like. Okay. So. I know some Arcana. So if you have any questions or anything like that, I could help. I believe yeah. you guys had figured out before that these were oh, yeah. like a, a very old language. Either, yeah. either like very old and kind of like one that uh, the your current languages has sort of split off of or possibly mm -hmm. uh, something, a new creation that was a combination. So one way or the other, either a combination or a split. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was related to Primordial. And that's why some of us could get a little bit of it. Yes. I can't remember. Yeah, okay. that's why Dilly could do this. Yeah, I mean, it was and it was related to Druidic stuff because, yeah. yeah so she was, she was there. Yeah, okay. she had she tagged Dilly tagged a couple boxes on the languages. So, um, while you're holding the combined crystal, you no longer have an issue reading the runes. <gasps> Yay! It's very, very clear what they say. Uh, okay. Actually, give me another arcana. Yes. Actually, give me two. Two arcana. Two. Ten and one, nineteen. Not bad. One good. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So you're not. Not immediately sure it doesn't like click why you can suddenly understand this i mean you get that it's probably because you're holding the crystal but your brain's not connecting the dots as far as that you do notice though uh while you were reading the runes very subtly it sounds like someone is whispering what they say to you Ooh, okay so that that voice is kind of visually translating to your eyes what the runes are saying. It's a feature. <laughs> There's a jack hole beside me. <laughs> That's yeah. Guy. All right. So yeah. what do they say? Oh, um, same as before, to the victor. So there's, there's, you guys were able to figure them out in, in full before. Oh, the spoils. Yeah. 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 But now you are, 
I mean, you were pretty sure before that the crystal and the, the spell that's on the, the Nautilus had something to do with the runes, especially because apparently the runes are what... There are, there are runes around the Nautilus that are keeping it under the spell, but now you have an extra little hint about the crystal yeah. via having okay. looked at the runes. Yeah. Be your so, so it's just going to... Anytime she sees a rune at this point, she's going to try to stare at it until she hears a whisper to see if, like, <laughs> ooh. I mean, she's got time. Yeah. So. And she'll probably tell Nair, uh, Nair, well, Narius is right there. She'll tell mm-hmm. him, like, ooh, <laughs> holding these and I can hear it now. And, uh, and then, you know, like, you're really good looking for things. Uh, can you help me find more of these runes? Maybe I can find more stuff for you. Yeah. Or, oh, definitely. or there's more locked rooms. So. But yeah. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, I'll definitely keep an eye out. And if I see anything, I'll, I'll get your attention. Yeah. So we'll do the little systematic search that way. I lost my cat. And there aren't any other like markings anywhere else in his room? Not. And the room, actually, give me give me another investigation, real quick. Either or both of you. The two of us, or just yeah, him? You can, you can both roll if you want. Oh my, it's gonna be a sh- sh- great roll for me. Yeah, no. I will remind no, you. That, yeah. Too like, oh my gosh, discovery! <laughs> I will remind you, uh, Philip, that you have not looked at the desk uh, yet. I know the imp did before, but you didn't. Oh, okay. I thought that was where where I was looking with the books. Then yes, I would. No, the the that. shelf is before the desk, and then the desk is beyond the shelf. Oh, okay. Yes, thank you, thank you. Then yes, I would like to to check the desk as well. Yes. Okay. Okay. Roll again if you want to. Yeah, I mean you have to. <laughs> Fourteen. That's not bad. Okay. Um, Dilly, give me one more roll also. Uh, investigation. Yes. This is great. Or or um, perception, whichever one's better for you. Oh, my perception is the same. Okay. Straight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's paying attention. A ten is good for her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Nerus, you approach the desk, um, and you once again see. I believe oh, sorry, no. Before. She's got a plus four. She's okay with this per- perception. She's 14, too. Okay. Oh, same. Yeah. Then, um, as Nero's approaches the desk, you both notice uh, one, th- one single rune on the front of the desk drawer. Ooh. I sort of me- beckon to move the crystal closer to it. I, I bring the crystal over and I duck down and I look and it does it look like it's a drawer that's locked? Like it has a lock on it. It doesn't. It doesn't even look like a drawer. It, it does look like a drawer. It looks like you should be able to open it. But it definitely doesn't open. <laughs> but are you, are you hearing anything? Do you hear any sounds in your head of these mystic, whatever these things are? Nairus is kind of like amazed that you can hear these things. She goes like, no, I don't hear anything. Uh, and then she she kind of thinks about it, like, to the spoil? No, no, to the victor, go the spoil? And the desk just looks at you and smiles. No. Um, <laughs> do you... <laughs> then it eats you. <laughs> she, she'll say, she's like, it's the one phrase that we all figured out. So she's going to say it everywhere. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, were you holding the, the crystal close to the desk or just holding on to it and looking at the, the rune? I'm, I, I've got the crystal in my hand and I was like, just, like it's kind of like right there. Okay, then you do actually hear, you know, like when you do the knock spell, you hear a knock, but it's not a real knock. It's, yeah. it's quite, sort of like that same sort of concept, but a click. And the the rune, uh, it was bright before and it, it goes dim and you can open the door. Nice. All right. And you can tell that uh, <laughs> this single rune on the front of the drawer just says lock. Lock. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the utility like, of magic. Yeah. So. All right. So, so she'll, she'll, she'll step away and she goes, I got it open. Didn't even have to use the butter knife. 
<laughs> Amazing. You have a way with locks, Dilly. A way with locks. Yeah. Who needs a rogue? Hmm. Oh, no. Uh, then, yeah, so I'll pull the drawer open. Brace for impact. <laughs> Apparently, Nearest thinks mm -hmm. that uh, the captain keeps explosives in his dust drawer. Or poison. <laughs> Now there's <laughs> there's nothing like that, nothing special in there. Um, as far as no traps, traps, yeah. Um, you do see um another well two two stacks side by side of uh that same sort of coral paper that were in the books. These look to be mm -hmm. um some manifests, which uh were what you were looking for. You imagine that they were probably uh, transcribed by the captain or one of the other tritons themselves because. Paper doesn't do well underwater, but he wants them at his desk. Mm -hmm. Okay. So these are very similar to the paper ones that you found on the island and have since lost somewhere. I mean, they probably were on the boat and are sinking to the bottom of the ocean as we speak. Yeah. Or they took yeah, them back. Or they float? I don't know what paper does. Because wood floats, but paper... It disintegrates eventually. Yeah. Yeah, you know? eventually. Yeah. It float until it got waterlogged, and then it would sink, and then it would kind of melt. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, these are a similar thing, but obviously transcribed. Um, in the desk, you also find uh, a sizable diamond and two rubies. Ooh. You will definitely pocket those. And a picture. Mm. Is it a family photo? No, it's just a picture of the captain. Oh. It's like... This guy was a little bit full of himself. You probably already got that feeling from fighting him, but. Dilly will tap you on the shoulder. Like, since he's gone, we should have proof that he exists. Good point. Good point. If it's any kind of case, I'll, I'll take that out and sort of stick it in the, um, in between the, like, uh, accounting binder, the big book. Sure. Ledger. That's what I was looking for. Sure, sure, sure. Mm hmm You also, uh, actually, are you gonna are you gonna look at the picture or just pocket it? I mean, well, I figured when I when I pulled it up and I saw it, and he said it was a picture of him. But yeah, I would look at it so that I know who it was. All right, one more investigation then, and if Dilly's close enough to look at it, you can do, you can roll as well. Oh yeah, sixteen. Uh, because Dilly wasn't really uh, paying attention when you found that fancy bow in the corner, she doesn't recognize it. But you recognize the bow that you found in the corner in the picture. Ooh. So you imagine that this has some sort of significance. This is his personal bow? Could be. Okay. I'll definitely keep that in mind. But yeah, then I'll stow the, uh, stow the photo. Does he wear... Like a uniform, like a captain's uniform, or is he just sort of like, because he said he had really fancy clothes. Does he have like any like, does he look like he's in like the royal military or something and he's got all the honor guard medals on the side and the high collars and stuff like that? Or is he just pirate dressed in his photo? It does look like in the photo he has some sort of uh, uniform on. What You recall that what he was wearing before was more... You know, leathers and I'm gonna go beat up people uh garb but this is this is a fancier photo hmm. you don't necessarily know uh the origin of this possible uniform slash fancy jacket but there it is he also has a very nice hat on Ooh, is the hat in the room you don't see it <sighs> okay it's okay it's probably mess up his hair anyway <laughs> Yes, mess up your hair in all this water. <laughs> and you have to let it free underwater. Totally. It's part of your look, you know? Oh my mm -hmm. god, that's right. Galatea has long hair. No, she would have prayed. <laughs> long hair just flowing everywhere. She's just become like a swamp creature. Yeah. yeah, just a sea hag now. Yeah. yeah, it takes skill to make long hair look good underwater. And tritons have that skill, don't worry. Mm -hmm. All right. Maybe um, they're born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe it's Merbeline. Merbeline. <laughs> Merbeline. Okay, I'm going to write that down. That's probably yeah. the name. Maybe it's down. Merbeline is definitely an episode name. God damn it. <laughs> Merbeline sounds like a good hair product. 
It's trash. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Unless Sam that's Daisy. what it's made of. <laughs> Mermaid is people. <laughs> Mer people. All right. I would also accept for a title sugar sugar in the mermaid. <laughs> oh wow, here. throwback. Holy oh, crap. Oh A I E no. If anybody ever <laughs> watches this episode, you don't get that joke, even if you think you do. <laughs> Unless it's any of our close friends. Anyhow. Then uh... you may get that joke. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Alexis. What did you want to do? Alexos. Uh, well, I was, well, Alexis was roaming the ship, just making sure that uh, we have it secured and then trying to figure out how we're going to get all this onto whatever ship that we have to get it on because we can't take the Nautilus wherever we're eventually going when we go back to shore. Okay. <clears throat> so basically, he's just patrolling the ship, making sure that all of them are gone. And if they're not, maybe some of them might disappear. <laughs> making, <laughs> making them not there. Yeah. It's fine. You know, they can take prisoners. He's not really about that. Um, <laughs> and then afterwards, talking with Nerus. We did a little bit while you were um, away, just talking about the process of getting all this off of the Nautilus when we eventually leave. So that's what he's more focused on, because we're just riding on the Nautilus until we get there. All right, give me mm-hmm. two perception rolls. I. This first one is for the center floor, and the second one is for the bottom floor. Perception. Come and on. perception. Okay. 18 and 8. Yeah. In both cases, you find nothing. You are able to get... The uh, the doors in the bottom floor open if you try hard mm-hmm. enough, violently yeah. enough. Maybe ask for your friend Galatea's help, etc. Very yeah. good at opening the doors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He would but definitely, yeah. if nobody's doing anything, then he would be like, "Come with me. Let's look through here." Yeah. So. But when you're, uh, you know, you when would you're have found a, a pirate mm-hmm. captain that's full of yourself and yeah. has a ship that drives itself. You don't really need that much of a crew. Yep. Yeah, you would have found Galatea like trying to be very comforting to all of the uh, locked up Tritons. Mm. Come on, let's get out of there. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, basically he's just securing the ship um, and preparing for helping there still whatever he wants because, <laughs> I mean, it's going to happen anyway. It may as well be controlled <laughs> and we may as well get everything. See, why is your klepto so easy to control? Mine isn't. <laughs> uh, wow. That's true. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now. Hey, when you play D&D long enough, you learn, you just, you know how to wrangle the klepto. Just let them steal. Just, just make sure that they don't steal from the party. That's it. That's Harness them for good. Yeah, exactly. Let them loose in a room. <laughs> <laughs> point in another even, direction. But he's not even a rogue. He's gonna get killed. Oh well, then yeah, that's trouble. He's bad. Listen, he's very, oh, he's bad. He's very so bad. <laughs> Robbing from someone who we're actively trying to have a favor from. As far as Alexis knows, Neris is very good at stealing because Alexis doesn't know that's why they came back after us. So. No, yeah. mm-hmm. And if you yeah. did, you'd just know he's that much even better at stealing. <laughs> Um, but yeah, if there are, I don't believe our crew is injured in any way, but those are the tasks that he's roaming around doing. Okay. I'm going to have you roll me a, mm-hmm. what do I want this to be? Do me a perception and either acrobatics or athletics. Okay. All right. Perception. Athletics. Okay. Okay. You have observed the room mm-hmm. full of treasure, like very deeply observed. You just snatched yeah. that away like a like a, a child given a, a chocolate bar. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you you very deeply observed this room. Yeah. You 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 almost like numbers across your vision calculated <laughs> how 
like much space is in this room and mm-hmm. based on that how much treasure is in this room and based on like you having picked up a few coins how much that probably weighs and you know how much you're gonna have to move in how many trips to get this out mm-hmm. of the ship in the most efficient manner you have figured that shit out okay so you're you're ready you're ready okay. to move this this is this is gonna be like tetrising a car with luggage you're you got this all right cool then um he'll just start to uh talk to the people he knows he's gonna need to use like galatea mostly big big lady's gonna have to carry a lot you also Very notice there that. are uh-huh. uh, two more manta cloaks in there mm. not that you can get any of the dudes out of the area but you know just yeah. on the off chance you need them Look, yeah. we can save exactly, what, like four of them now and let all ten others drown <laughs> from yeah. explosive decompression? Oh yeah. God. All right, cool. Then, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. He's just going through his plans to execute this. Okay. Cal, tell you everything you want to do? Just help out? Mm-hmm. I can help out, and then also, um, I just want to make sure, uh, you know, have some firesides with the uh, the Tritons. Let them know, hey, we're gonna let they're you. Gone. Oh no, wait, oh, they're gone. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Never mind. We them out. Yeah, we already kicked them out. That's right. So never mind. Um, she's uh, she's talking to the guys in there. She's like, we're really sorry, we can't let you out yet. I hope <laughs> there's enough stuff in there. I would open the door, but I think it would drown all of you, and we don't want to do that. Yeah. Speaking of Just wine the... and barrels, <laughs> if it's anywhere in the ship, it's it's with the crew. Mm. Nice. Like, I just, I mean, I guess they know where they are, but just like the theory of like, oh, yeah, sorry, you're trapped in there. It's totally wet out here. We just can't open the door for you. You just have to wait. They're just like chugging rum by the handle. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, what a nightmare! <laughs> this sucks so much. Hopefully, hopefully, this deck of card or paradise in there. Yeah. You know what? Probably <laughs> the dice. The dice. Oh probably... man! Yeah, Get the dice, dice probably underwater. Know, but, but cards. Cards. Mm-hmm. They would be probably be in there. Oh they're yeah, having, absolutely. They're having a not terrible time in there now that they know they're not going to get murdered. Yeah. Uh, Theros little... just taking a nap. Pretty much, like I said, he's just like so tired of being wet. He's just like. Yeah. Right. I wish awesome. I could help you. Plus, it's extra hard for him because he's. I know he can swim, but he is still wearing like very heavy shit. Yeah. Oh, poor little cow man. Yeah. Give me a level, and then I can control water you uh, and a hole in the water the whole time. <laughs> Just you, so you can sleep. Just have a bubble. <laughs> yeah. Here's your bubble. Just stay in the bubble. <laughs> it's your bull bubble. Oh. Yeah, bull I don't. Bull. I don't have it yet. Bubble. 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 <laughs> okay, okay. Um, Nerus and Delilah, do you want to report your findings back to your friend Olios? Uh, yes. yes. Although I think Delilah was going to check the treasure room for those runes as well. Yeah. I know she's, you didn't mention that. going on a scavenger hunt for runes. Okay. So, well. But, but it's like uh, they'll check in first just to like drop off the cloak because since he took the purple cloak, she's just going to go straight to Mirror and say, we found something really cool um, in the captain's quarters. And, and so she's just going to, like, word vomit a whole bunch of stuff about, we found another rune, a locked desk. There's more information. There's a picture. But there's these cloaks. He's dead, so he doesn't need these anymore. This one looks really cool. It's got shells and tentacles on it. Do you like it? Yes. <laughs> so... <laughs> Somewhere yeah. in all of that that word vomit, that adorable word vomit, uh, beyond yeah. the the finding the cloak you're, that you're interested in, mirror, you also make an Arcana check. Okay. <clears throat> Are yet Arcana? That's pretty good. That's all right. Okay. You uh, you're like yes. Oh wow. Wait. 
back up a second. What was that about the crystal whispering? Yeah. Yeah, like, what do you mean whisper? What do you mean whispering? Like, uh, well, when I looked at the runes and I was holding it, all I, it just, it was in my mind, like somebody was whispering it. So, since it was my own voice. Oh. So it's like I could hear myself read. Oh. It wasn't your own voice. Oh. Oh, it wasn't? Oh, okay. Oh. I, I'm curious as if she would have noticed that. Was it like a deep voice? Um, what's, what kind of role would that be? It might be a perception. Insight. Do, do insight. Insight, insight. Not bad, and it's like, that's pretty yeah, good. Okay. No, you would okay. you would notice that. Pick it up. Okay, it's not unlike yours. It's not. It's not what like a deep, ominous today? voice, but it is. Not like Sarah. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you get the idea. It's sort of a. It was a feminine voice, which is sort of why you maybe thought it was your own voice. But it's a. It's a different okay. pitch. Okay, so it's still, it's still be like well, you know, it wasn't kind of it was. Kind of like mine, but not mine. But maybe if you, I, there's more runes all over this place. And I wanted to see if I could, well, listen to the runes now. Do you want to come with me? Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, yeah, let's go. I'm, yeah. <laughs> she, also, she definitely goes with Dilly so they can uh, continue investigating the runes. Yeah. All right. Uh, are you going to go back to the treasure room first or just pick a different place in the ship? Uh, we'll do the treasure room. Because, okay. like, we know where that is. Uh, and, you do and, still uh, see... Go ahead. Yeah, and this time she'll pass the stones to mirror when we get to the first runes that we saw. Like, that. that's uh, to the... Uh, go the victor. To the victor goes the spoils. So... Okay. Just to confirm that's what she hears. Yeah. The goes the spoils is still on... Glowing brightly outside of the uh, the treasure room door. Um, yeah. And when you go inside, you see just a couple of like, almost like they were randomly placed, single and Ooh. double runes, just mostly around nice. the base of the room. Okay. And they are right. so random enough words that they don't even really make sense. Okay. Well, she's hmm. given the stone to, to mirror now, so. Okay. Mirror, give me yes. an arcana check. Just one more. Okay. Well, you remember yes, a story <laughs> from your childhood that your that your mama told you uh, about a sorceress who uh, had been insulted and as a a punishment had stolen someone's voice and locked it in a crystal and you rem you when you remember this you kind of <laughs> why are you looking at me like this no go on you're doing great So that just reminds you of this crystal, that's all. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so, uh, mirror. I don't like your judgment. No, it wasn't judgment. It was not yours. Not yours. Oh. oh. <laughs> Are you happy now, Ariel? <laughs> so she's like, that's oh, not even my where goodness. that's from. She, she, uh, chipperly explains the, the similarities to this situation, to the story that she remembered, you know, her, her mom telling her when she was a child. And she's just like, all right, it's kind of funny how this reminds me of that. Like, yeah, that sea witch. And I didn't hmm. say sea witch. A Freudian <laughs> slip. Sandwich. <laughs> Freudian slip. <laughs> Sand dollar, you know. You know what? I'm just gonna age. I'm just gonna change it. It wasn't even a sorceress. It was a god. Okay. Okay. Yes. So she regales 
the story that she remembers <laughs> with the correct terminology. <laughs> Listen, I, I know, know the Greek know. reference too, but we're right. under the sea right now. We're just talking about doing the song <laughs> earlier. Under the sea. Yeah, that one. not my fault either. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Anyhow. <clears throat> so you both sort of think that maybe this voice is stolen. Maybe there's Ooh. a reason that the Nautilus listens to this voice specifically. Hmm. 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 Who's our party brain? Oh, you don't have Team one. Team Dummy Thick. <laughs> yes. Really? No clue. This is underwater stuff. She has no idea. Yeah. Like, even Mira is just like, who's the party brain? Like, literally, that was in character. Just like, who's the party brain? I, I... <laughs> Fla I it... Flash cut to <laughs> Theros and Galatea. Your fish voice. Uh. <laughs> Flash cut to Theros and Galatea being like, okay, so I, you killed one and I killed one and we killed the <laughs> one guy, so that's three. I think there was like two others and I think I saw a floating body earlier from the Shattering, so we have potentially five pirate ghosts. <laughs> oh, man. Are I mean... Are people for, making, for wanting to make pirate ghosts or is it like we're doing a service because we're giving them so. a new purpose in death? So, so, uh, Dilly, Cuts. what are the words that are randomly spread around? So, they vary wildly. You have a bunch of these, like the, in plural. Uh, oh. You have you have a couple of a. Ah, uh, let's see. It's it's nonsense. You see flower, you see old, you see detonate. It's doesn't make sense. Okay. I mean, we'll check we'll check the stuff that's around the runes just to see if it's like, oh, it's like, hey, the and it's a necklace. The necklace. I don't know. Talk about that. It makes perfect sense. It's terrifying. I don't want the old flower to detonate. <laughs> <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> While we're, while we're doing, while we're looking around, so like Dilly, Dilly and uh, is basically going to tell Mira, it's like, we just want to look for anything that's, that's like extra, extra magic-y sparkly. Um, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe there's more to the spell and it's stuck in the treasure room. I don't know, but, um. Do we, well, all of, all of the thing about the voice being a stolen aspect is so far just in Mira's head. Um, is that any kind of no, story? She told you about it. Heard? Okay. Is it any, well, okay. Um, and uh, Greece is all about islands. Um, I mean, Dilly would probably just like to do like a, a, a history kind of check, just, just in case she you've okay. ever heard the story before mm -hmm. sure now i'm gonna say she's trained in it yeah but it's an int so she only has so much of a bonus yeah namely it's a plus two okay that was same cool. boat yeah so you have she, of like a vague vague recollection but you don't like remember the source you don't remember whether it was a god or a goddess or what kind of god it might have been you definitely don't remember respectful. where it's from yeah yeah okay all right well, i'm kind of curious okay well i mean we know we got to take the nautilus back to home and then maybe we can find out about the voice the voice box at home yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah, you know, that that makes sense. That makes sense. Like, perhaps we will... Maybe it'll be a mystery. Like, maybe we'll be returning a voice. Like, not only are we returning the Nautilus home, we're returning the voice. That, I mean, she, gets, she pats the walls, and she's like, and you know, this, this... Do you know how long it takes for a Nautilus to get this big? This thing is old. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. That makes sense, because, uh, yeah... 
It is pretty big, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Tea yeah. dummy dick. All right. Very. You guys have had a pretty long day at this point, uh, looking through the ship yeah. and making sure that you could move treasure and whatnot. Is there any last thing you would like to do before your arrival? Complain about no. feathers being wet. That's about okay. it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, the only reason she's not cake. complaining is she can turn into a crab and not feel gross. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, you're not really sure what time of day it is at this point, but it has been a number of hours, more than 12, less than 24. <laughs> <laughs> and you feel, feel the Nautilus start to slow a bit. Uh, who has the crystal right now? Is it still mirror or did you give it back to Dilly? Oh, uh, she probably gave it back to Dilly because, uh, you know, Dilly's yeah. talking with the, the so talking to the, yeah, pictographing with the, uh, Nautilus. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You get that sort of like excited push on your mind. Like, oh, we're here. We're getting mm -hmm. there. It's almost, we're very close. Yep. Okay. She'll, she'll alert everybody. It's like, we're almost there. I think on, on Nautilus time, we're almost there. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. in fact within the next minute uh you slow to a stop okay like when like when the vehicle stops and you're like oh oh okay yeah you have to hold on to the pole because the freaking airport tram is like Ugh. yeah <laughs> i this is so mean but i like that part because you, you can tell who's been on those before and who hasn't because they like fall over. Yeah. <laughs> who's not paying attention? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and all the signs like the bus is now departing or whatever. Now departing. And they're like, yeah, every time. Yeah. <laughs> you were warned. <laughs> so what would you like to do as as the Nautilus uh, comes to comes to a complete stop? <laughs> beep, beep. Well, uh, well, we got the uh, the mant well, manta ray cloak is on, and the I'm uh, Mira's gonna rejoin the rest of everybody. Be like, all right, uh, so we've stopped. So, uh, should we? You oh. know, like I I don't I don't know. Like, are we asking? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I was like, once once you stop, <laughs> uh, Alexis is just uh, praying for spells, and then he's just gonna leave. Like as soon as we stop, he's going out that hatch. Okay. Yeah, Nero says on his new purple jacket, he's like, time to roll. <laughs> Heads out of the uh, upper upper level. The uh, Nautilus seems to sort of be like searching. Uh, it, it seems to kind of be stuck. Like, it can't quite get to where it, it wants to specifically go. It mm. seems a little, like, confused as to how it wants to proceed, uh, as far as uh, Delhi can tell. But uh, Alexos and Nerus, when you leave the top, you see... Let's load a map. Yeah. Dear God, please work. Oh my god. Do you guys see anything? percent Okay. Halfway there. Wow. Well. I was hoping someone would do it. Yeah. As if it was ever in question with us. <laughs> uh, yes, I have vision. Yeah, I'm at 22%. I'm at 11%. I'm at 11? Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. No, I guess I should no have preloaded this twice. Oh, no, it's fine. Now you're good. Yeah, it's not your fault. Yeah. Anyhow, you uh, Sometime. Yeah. The, the two The two Atlantean styles are, are able to see it before the rest of us. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah it does. Wait, mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't see it. Oh. Never mind. Well, anyhow. 33. Uh, then I say, I'll go, I'll go ahead and scout. scout. And I head up first. <laughs> What do my half elven eyes see? <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> uh, 
All right. Uh, as you leave the super broken hatch of the poor tortured Nautilus, uh, it's it's pretty dark. It is considerably darker than you uh, expected it to be, or maybe because you have a concept of how the ocean works, this is exactly as dark as you thought it was going to be. Uh, but <clears throat> very, very close ahead, you see a faint light. You're not sure where it's coming from. Um, it's not pulsing. It doesn't look like any sort of fire. It's just a faint light somewhere ahead of you, and it looks to be coming up out of a grotto. Mm -hmm. And we are still completely submerged. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> then I will, I will pass that information along. Let everybody know that there is something, something alight down here. And then sort of uh, move forward just a little bit, testing uh, the waters and what I can see. There doesn't seem to be you. Uh, bless you. Wow. Doesn't seem to be much down here that's uh, super threatening. Uh, it could be because a giant nautilus just, you know, swam right up to this area and everything was like, oh no, I gotta go. Um, uh. As you uh, crest over the edge of this dimly lit grotto, you see within it five statues. Well, five ruined statues. And uh, at the base of one of them is a figure. Ooh. Has everyone uh, loaded? Yeah, I can see now. I can yeah. see now, yeah. Yep. Tiki, can you so is, is this place icy? Tiki, can you see things? Gosh, I hope you can. No? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you so have a black. Do you have a percentage left for loading? Percentage. Yeah. All black. Does she maybe not have vision? Everybody should have vision, but I'll double check. Oh. What? Uh, we lost her for a second, but she's back. Oh. She might have reloaded reload just to see. I had to reload. Sixteen. I see. See vague, dim stuff. Okay, so you do see something now. Now I do. Yeah. Awesome. Yay. Yeah, I had to reload. Cool. It, was like, mm. it had been a while since mm. I'd uh, put together a map, and I was like, "Man, I hope this worked right." <laughs> yeah. Yay. Mm. All right. So when you say that there is a figure at one of the ruined statues, do you, are you saying like a small figure? Like a, a, like a statue at the base of one of the larger statues or figures in a person? It's a form, a creature, a person. You're not really sure from this distance. But it's at the base of one of the ruined statues. Yes, it seems sort of kind of crumpled and moving. It moves slightly now and then. It It's alive, you assume, because it moves in a way that living things do when they breathe. Mm. Okay. Well. But it's not completely upright. Yeah, so Alexis is behind you, kind of pee peeking out of the uh, hatch, since you said you'd go and uh, scout. Bless you. Uh, can I see the figure from where I am? Give me a perception rule. Sure thing. Cool. Uh, well, as he takes in the sights, he's just going to try and look through his memory. Does this look like anything that he remembers from, like, Zeus, or uh, Zeus, uh, Temples to Poseidon and things like that? I'm going to roll a religion, so, just to see if it makes sense to him. Like, okay, well, this is like a ritual place, or this is like sacrifice, or anything you might be able to glean from, like, religious um uh like ceremonies and things okay um or if it just looks like statues it does look like statues but the cracked pieces do look familiar in places mm. 
Um, you can tell one of them, one of the broken statues is absolutely Poseidon. Okay. Uh, one is Ares. Okay. And you kind of get from that that uh, the rest of them probably are also. Gotcha. Um, can I can I tell the statue where the crumpled feature is, or uh, the crumpled creature is? Well, let me check my notes. I mean, yeah. Yeah these these are broken statues. Like they look whole here, but they are in okay. significant pieces. All five of yeah. the statues are in pieces. I just wanted to know if the form yeah. is below like Poseidon. If not, then not. he doesn't care. Well, um, that's it. I will tell you that the well, give me give me one more. Give me I guess perception. Yeah. The base of the statue, the extremely broken statue where this person is uh mm -hmm is kneeling not kneeling as in like worshiping but kneeling as in yeah. like just there uh taking a breath yeah. uh, taking a breather yeah there are waves on it hmm okay well you kind of just motion mm. and, and oh uh, yeah stickering like awkwardly out of the side like really strangely is a triton you say a trident or a triton? Trident. I think I said it. Gotcha. Wrong, but okay. it's trident. Yeah. Oh, it's all good. Uh, well, I sort of like motion and be like, shall we go speak with this person? Because they are most likely aquatic. Yeah. Okay, so that's where the person is. There you go. There's a dot. Cool. Yes, yeah, so I'll come with you. I will also come, even though I don't understand the words, probably. It's fine. I mean, you all theoretically have cloaks on, so... I oh, I mean, if they start speaking in Triton, I won't have any idea. I learned something interesting. If you use the thing, the measure tool, mm -hmm. and you, you measure out from your space or whatever, if you hit the space bar, you'll just follow yeah. that path. Oh, that's yeah, that's great. Cool. Oh, which module is that? It's, uh... It's like move, Snap measure, or something, something like that. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember what it's called. Yep. Okay. It's really Just cool. Just if everybody wanted to. Yeah. Uh, and I'll That's sort of swim too. closer and, uh, you know, try to appear as unthreatening as possible. <laughs> Terrace. As I have a giant billowing purple cake behind me. I am. All right. Uh, as you guys approach, you can kind of see this this figure is leaned over. Not, not even kind of. You can see that this figure is leaned against the the base of the statue, like on crossed arms, and their shoulders are shaking slightly. Um, like crying, shaking. Yeah, kind of like crying, shaking. Don't hear any Nobody. noise. And as you get close, they turn around and. The water around them like whirls. You all feel a wave of water not hurt you, but push you back. Um, does it seem threatening? Would I, would I believe that to be threatening? I mean, it it's more of a defensive action. This person has been surprised. They were already upset. Uh, now that they are turned around, you can see that this is a uh, presenting female person. They have really, really, really light blue, almost white hair and eyes of a similar color. Their pallor is very similar to a triton. Mm -hmm. um, they're very cr clearly an aquatic person also because they're not having any issues down here. Yeah. And uh, everybody who wants to give me an Arcana check totally can right now, and I'll tell you something else. Okay. <laughs> sure, why not? Mine is two. Why? I have no intelligence. 
<laughs> I'm looking at every James. every Dummy other roll. Yeah. No, no Arcana. I don't even have it trained. On my end. <laughs> Zero and I don't have it trained. I'm not rolling it. Everyone except for Theros and Alexis can tell that this uh, this wave of water that hit you was definitely magic based. This person used mm -hmm. some sort of spell to quickly push the water against you to fan you away from them. Mm -hmm. Well, Alexis just kind of looks at Nerys like, your eye. I'm, I'll give it a shot. Right. And I'm like, I'm like, put my hands up and like, I mean, you no harm. We're we are not trying to hurt you. Sorry to have scared you. We come in peace. Uh, are you are you injured? Or do you need assistance? Are you OK? Mir also just says from behind, <laughs> are you OK? Uh, as Nerys is talking, the figure just kind of suspiciously looks at you, doesn't really answer, doesn't know why you're here and why you're asking these things. Mirrors. I'll uh, pull off my hood so you can see that I'm actually, so that the, the lady can see that I'm aquatic as well. Dramatic mm -hmm. reveal. Yeah. Oh no, he's handsome. <laughs> oh no, he's hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lord. That doesn't seem to make any impression on her. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, maybe enough. she gets a little bit more suspicious. Uh, and then she hears Mira like, are you okay? And it like throws her off like uh, trying to okay. get a shrug out of her. And then, right, and then well. she shakes her head. Like, she did respond, okay. It's like, shakes her head as in, no, I'm not okay? Or like, no, like, who the fuck are you? That's up to your interpretation. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Okay. Well then, uh, Alexos, you know, after Neris tries, will just uh, take a very non-threatening step forward, just kind of hands out to here. Oh, so like the 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 raptor. Yeah. He's doing the raptor move. <laughs> um, it always works, right? <laughs> and uh, he takes off his uh, glove that he's wearing. And shows a signet ring. Which is of his family that he is a knight of in Atlantis. And he says, I mean you no harm. I am on a mission from Poseidon. And I think that this is where I need to go. Maybe we can help you along the way. But I really need to finish this. When you uh, specifically step forward, mm -hmm. she violently pulls away it looks like she's gonna like hiss at you okay when the the ring mm -hmm. comes out she pauses relaxes slightly mm. still doesn't seem to know how to respond okay mirror literally has a brain wave right mm -hmm. she she's she's got a brain blast right now and she just blurt, you know, she comes up behind, you know, our two Trident fellows. So let me move. Hey, can you talk? <laughs> you, get, you get this incredulous look from her. <laughs> <laughs> Shakes her head. She, she looks back at Dilly. <laughs> like, like, uh, do you remember, like, the voice box. Oh, okay. Billy will then like pull it out of some nook or cranny. <laughs> <laughs> this this woman who has been previously super shying away or getting ready to attack even just charges through the bunch of you. <laughs> does not pay attention to danger. Would take many attacks. If you guys were trying to attack, yeah, no, heads for this yeah. voice box and snatches it like James snatched that cider from Tiki earlier. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, oh. I mean, so Billy like, goes, what is that? I am an adorable red panda. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> she takes it. She takes this thing in her hand, looks at it, looks at Del Delilah like excitedly, and then she eats the crystal. 
into her mouth. Crunch. <laughs> crunch. No. This thing shatters between her teeth and she crunches oh. down the bits of this crystal. <laughs> There's like the not uh, you don't know. Has glass that did you shouldn't eat glass. It does not seem well, to I'm affect her negatively. It's only case she spits up blood. So you know, no. but you she's know. fine. No blood. All of her teeth are intact. S still this wincing. crystal This crystal was like is like rice. Sugar, sugar it was like glass. pudding. Yeah, it was nothing. Mm -hmm. Just crotch. He's uh, still, yeah, as we, as as the uh, underwater swamp monster that Theros has become, because as he's standing on the bottom of the water, <laughs> yeah. his fur, of course, just like floats all around him. So he just looks like a big, indecipherable brown blob. So a wet wilky. Yeah. 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 <laughs> just watching her eat crystal. He's like, oh, that's no. no. Ow, ow. Mir doesn't look scandalized. In fact, she just kind of looks impressed. She's just like, oh. Were you hungry? <laughs> it's like when you eat the bones of humans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. It's fine. Yeah. You know, it's <laughs> Alexos just crunchy. wonders if Galatea eats rocks now. I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> I mean, Billy looks cannibals. back at Mira and goes like, well, I guess she obviously knew what to do. E yeah, okay. yeah. I, I guess. Yeah, like, Mira's like... We just look at her and go like, can you so, speak? After she mm -hmm. crunches down on this crystal and like, Delicious. It's gone. Like as she bites into the crystal, there's like a boom underwater, right? Mm -hmm. That muffled explosion esque well, noise. Yeah. And then yep. slightly off in the distance above the grotto, you hear a secondary one and you see like a, a ring explosion of magenta just fire out into the water. Mm. This makes her like snap snap her attention up there and she beelines up that direction the uh, the way you guys came from. So should we should we go follow her since she just uh, had a little a little snack? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Guys, I, I I'm so confused, but yeah, I know I'm gonna go follow her. Can you come with? Oh, uh, Dilly definitely will because she she's curious. <laughs> also, that that means she kind of she ate the thing that gave us control over the Nautilus. So. Yeah. I'm hoping mm -hmm. that the Nautilus is okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> Yeah, Alexis doesn't care at all. He's like, all right, you guys go check that out. I'm going to look at these statues to, set, to figure out how do we get in here. <laughs> She's fine Hi. now, whatever. <laughs> uh, I think Nerus would, uh, Nerus would stay. All right, so Galatea's gonna go with y'all. Okay, yeah, thank you. It's like we'll, we'll go see. There also stay with the underwater boys, I guess. <laughs> We're split three split, and three. Yeah, yeah, split party. All right, let's take uh, Mirror, Delilah, and Galatea up first. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna move you back to the Nautilus because that would be silly. Sure. But as you crest over the edge of the grotto back into the darkness of the deep sea. You do see this uh, woman who moments ago was sobbing below uh, quite happily, sort of like bobbing back and forth in front of the face of the Nautilus like a very flippy fish. Mm -hmm. And you kind well, of get the feeling like that... I said, I guess that's her friend. Yeah. Uh, the Nautilus... So uh is doing a very similar action it's kind of like it has two two of its larger tentacles out towards either side of uh this woman and it's like slap kind of wait waving them up and down like oh i'm so happy to see you mm -hmm. it's Mira's a, like oh my god that's adorable it's a very it's a very strange and adorable sight she's like oh, all right uh, miss <laughs> Initially, she doesn't hear you, but it seems like the uh, Nautilus actually directs her attention back towards you. Like, like the tentacles just kind of spin her around. Like it, like it taps her on the shoulder and, over there, over there. She turns, having, like, forgotten that you were there, even. Fair. Oh, uh, yes? You can speak! So, so your <laughs> the snack, so every... This is good, right? <laughs> snack. That's an interesting voice way snack. of putting that. Well, I mean, you did eat it. I mean, I'm... <laughs> you're, 
you're not wrong, I suppose. <laughs> Who are you? Who are all of you? Ah, so my name is Mirror, and uh, so. Oh goodness. Okay, one sec. <laughs> So, so Mira's like, okay, yes. So, uh, we, um, are a group, um, one of our friends, uh, down below, he, you know, the Poseidon guy, um, we came here on the Nautilus and after we rescued them from pirates that were controlling, you know, that forcefully controlled it. Yes. And uh, it wanted to go home. And so here we are. I see. Am I missing steps? Am I missing steps? No, you're sure not. That... She's okay. kind of like, what a, what a very curious thing that you've presented to me suddenly. We I followed mean... a bottle that told us to come here. I mean, yeah, that too. And you look really happy to see. Does the Nautilus have a name? I feel bad. I've just been calling it the Nautilus. Of course, it has a name. Can and then I? She, she like bubbles at you. You can't. You can't oh. repeat this name. It's, ah. it's not. It's not language. She okay. Mirror's like okay. Um, forgive me. My my uh, underwater is bad. D <laughs> Do they have a common equivalent? She sort of looks back. At bubbles, the Nautilus. <laughs> bubbles at the Nautilus. Uh, similarly. He says you can call him the Nautilus. Okay. <laughs> Good enough for me. So, so. I didn't mm. catch all of your names. Your friend broke into her story first. Sorry. You're very excitable, I can tell. <laughs> she seems very tired. Either very tired or like very bored one. I mean, she's been sitting here crying at the bottom of the ocean for Lord knows how long. She's probably tired. Seems exhausting. <laughs> Introduce yourself, guys. Oh, I was All waiting right. for you to. Oh, I already, I already introduced myself. Oh, uh, Dilly, Dilly will introduce herself, um, and and just kind of like your is the did your eating eating your voice uh, break the spell on the Nautilus? In so many words, yes. Okay, and then she just looks back at Mary. Says, "All right, good. He's free." It's free. Yeah. They're free. I'm, I'm Galatea, by the way. I'm an Oread. I know. Crazy, right? So. <laughs> Especially seeing one down here. <laughs> it is curious to see you down here, but it seems you've all found uh, very useful magics to help you along the way. She looks very uh, specifically back to Delilah and sort of bubbles the Nautilus's name again. Blah, 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 and told me that you are instrumental in helping them communicate what they needed. Thank you. And you get like the, the barest smile. Wow, oh, Dilly doesn't care. She's going to smile right back anyway. She's like, <laughs> I, like the, I like all creatures, even though like more of my friends are above the water and in the air and on the land. But this has been an interesting adventure. Um, and then she goes, do you know? And then she's looking around like, where's Pico? Yeah. Yeah, where is Pico? Pico's is still, still in the Nautilus. He's not risking that bottle. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, Pico's, Pico's still in the Nautilus. But one sec. Miss, what is your name? My name is Charybdis. Okay. Nice to meet you. I'm glad that you got your voice back. Are you, I mean, so we saw you upset. Was it, was it because of the... <laughs> well, that's part of it, but more, my friend has been gone for a while. It's been oh, lonely no. here, but I'm not really allowed to go. Oh no. 
Who is Pico? This name is familiar to me. Pico's our little friend. Sometimes big friend. Sometimes medium-sized friend. She kind of looks away. She kind of looks away at the mirror and Galatea like, okay, well, those people aren't helpful at all. Looks back to Delilah. Who is Pico? Uh, and she goes like, um, well, Pico is a Sagittarius whore. Uh, and um, put us on this quest to begin with, uh, looking for a bottle, a uh, ship in a bottle. And um, and then she's kind of by like, uh, like only I don't know where Pico is right now. Um, I don't know. Pico's inside inside the Nautilus. Um, remember, it had okay. the it had the talking bottle, the one that was telling us to come here. And you see her, her bored expression sort of, her eyebrows raise. Talking bottle. Yeah. Would so, you expound I, I will invite her to go to, uh, and, well, actually, Dilly's going to kind of go, uh, well, when she looks up, how deep does it look like they are in the ocean? So, you know, when you can barely see any light, like there's like thin, teeny strips. It's very deep. You, you, you can tell you're very okay. deep. It's like, well, when we go in, just don't open the first door to your right because that's got that's the only air hatch, and we've got our our ship crew needs that air. Yeah, she is confused. Tilts her head. Air not hatch. underwater person. What? Someone and then she sort built... of like, go ahead. Someone built um, a living quarters inside of the living quarters of your friend, kind of like a house in a house, or like they subletted. Um... Her face just gets like more twisted and angry, and the the water around her starts to sort of shake. Like boiling. we got. But without the we heat. got rid of the the people who did who did that to the Nautilus, though. Mm -hmm. Turned them into pirate ghosts. So that doesn't seem to make her any happier, and she like drifts up to observe this phenomena of shell uh, dismemberment that you <laughs> have mentioned. Stays very still. Water's still shaking. For about two minutes. She she like leads over the delay. Oh, she she mad mad. Someone pimped her ride. Oh my Without her God. permission. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Get out. <laughs> oh. I have to open a note. Okay, um, fine. Anyway, once she gets over that. She heads slowly, like almost like observing every tiny, terrible thing that's been done to her friend until she finds the hatch that you're mentioning. Looks inside, is met with the face of Pico, who's like, oh shit, <laughs> if you've ever seen a horse freak out in the face, probably haven't because that's not how horse faces work, but that's what Surprise just happened to horse. Pico. It does that reel back and they lock the frames like uh, for Mr. Ed. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, for a moment, Pico is freaked out and then uh, recognition sort of clicks in. Can confirm horses do freak out in the face a little bit when you startle them. All right, cool. Good. Terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> and then Pico uh, comes out to say hello sort of does like a happy little swirl around her for a second she is not super amused because she's still real bad about what's happened to bubble bubble that's his name bubble bubble yeah bubble bubble mm -hmm. bb for bubble. short yeah bubble. bb bb the nautilus bb the nautilus i love it bubble bubble i have to write it oh my god yes anyhow uh, BB the Nautilus. And then they have a, a quick 
similarly bubbling conversation between each other. Oh, maybe they do know each know each other. Well, not, at least they can talk. Yes, that's true. She uh, she turns back to all of you and Pico, you named him. He has informed me of what his mission is and what has become your mission. I believe you will find you're near your journey's end. Oh, that's that's good. I, should I go? Should I tell you know? She turns to uh, Dilly and Galatea. Should I? Should I go swim down and let the rest of them know that? Why don't we all go join your friends? Okay, but well, but before we go, are you okay? Like you. <laughs> Do you... Don't, don't trouble yourself. Uh, okay, but you seem like not not to be like presumptuous. Don't trouble yourself. I'm gotcha. <laughs> and she goes right on past to uh, join everybody else down in the grotto. Uh, the Nautilus sort of pulls up a little bit closer. BV the Nautilus pulls up a little bit closer than he had before and some tentacles follow along with uh, Charybdis to, you know, sort of sort of be like, hello, I'm here and, you know, hang out with a friend that they haven't seen in a number of years. We're going to cut back to the boys so that they can do their look around the grotto before everybody gets back. Mm. What you want to do, boyos? Uh, well, as soon as they kind of float up with her, Alexis is just going to look for any sort of mechanism. So I think actually he's going to spend a couple of minutes, um, if I could find, he's going to cast detect magic. Okay. So he's doing it as a ritual. So it's going to take 10 minutes of him just kind of communing with Poseidon right. to get sight beyond sight. The three of you also give me perception checks. Sure thing. All of you notice mm -hmm. uh, in this right portion, slightly down from the center. So like right here, mm -hmm. there is a wall. It is a slick wall, a sort of a glassy wall in comparison to all of the rest of the rocks mm -hmm. around here. Kind of looks like ice. I see. Well, then mm -hmm. I'll, I'll move over to it. Same. Once you're over there, you can feel that it feels like ice. Uh. Uh, Alexis just looks over at Nerys and says, well. It fits with the story. Now, how do we get in? Ooh. Uh, we could either try touching it and seeing if it'll push open, or perhaps it needs the bottle. Well, I'm not sure. Alexis is going to kind of just reach out and touch it. See if anything happens. Reach out and touch ice. Nope. Okay. Uh, then he just kind of knocks on it. Like, yeah, I think it's sturdy. Or how sturdy is it when he knocks on it? It has that uh, sort of like thick glass with something hollow mm -hmm. behind it. Sound. Got you. And Alexos, he uh, he pulls out his little reliquary. You've seen this before in Neros. And he, he kind of thinks about it. He goes, I'll wait till everyone's here to break it. Mm. Could be Maybe worse. she could let us in. That's the first time he thought about her again. Because <laughs> he's like, I'm just going to shout out of this wall and we're good. Let's go. Um, I'll, can I do a arcana check and see if I notice anything that is so I'm guessing it's not natural but if there's anything like how magical it is and if I can sort of see what it is sure 
dirty twenty. It's definitely, definitely magical. You don't see yep. any reason that this should be here. There's no like weird fresh water flow from above, and you know it's super hard to get salt water to freeze. That's what you're in. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's magic for sure. Okay, but no information about what may be causing anything. No, not really. Okay. Um. Yeah, I mean, I th I think maybe we might need to wait mm -hmm. for the crying woman to uh, maybe let us in on whatever this might be, or at least bring the where is Pico? Once again, the first time you thought about anybody. <laughs> Last time I saw him, you were somewhere inside the ship. <sighs> we'll flag them down when they come back down. So Alexis is just going to wait for them now. Okay. Can't take us that long. Uh, do you wanted to do uh, 10 minutes De or... Detect magic, yeah. Yeah. So he once he gets to there, he knows that that's magic, but he's still going to cast it so that yeah. if they get to the other side. Yeah. Narrows, Theros, anything else you want to do? Um, I would just sort of look at some of the other statues in passing, but nothing like uh, specific. Like I wouldn't try and study them or anything. I just like swim around and look at them and okay. see if I recognize them. Well, I mean... It's a bunch of broken statues in pieces that are scattered mm -hmm. haphazardly. It's hard to say. The only things that are really still standing are the bases of each of the five. Okay. Theros, anything else you want to do? He'd probably just do a little strength test, a little push-push, see if he can knock it out, like press his shoulder against it, see if he can push it, pet, push it past it. No. Yeah, I didn't think so. He's... What else is he going to do? He's got nothing going on mm. right now. Yeah, he's a bull. Alexis is like, yeah, I will break it. <laughs> okay. Um, um, do you guys want a break since it's 7.20? Oh, sure. Yes. That wasn't me saying yes. I was yes. just saying, oh, yeah, that, that's the thing to think about. Some break. Right. Yeah. So we, cool. we will have probably like a um, 20 minute break and we'll be back. Cool. Yeah. Roger Wilco.
Greetings and salutations. Hey, we're back. Hi, everybody. Hello. I actually did change this image. And I must have just told it to look at the wrong one. That's yeah. my luck. Uh. Don't fight me. It's fighting me. That's our job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very manly, Denitra. Good job. Yeah. You did it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. The guy hello. Somehow back. less. <laughs> no. Welcome back. We're in the grotto underwater. There's a lady who, oh man, how does she talk? I don't know. It was kind of like aloof and just like hmm. detached. Yeah, detached. Like a bored goth. Sedate. Yeah, actually. Lord of the Rings elf. Ethereal and kind of pissed, but soft and. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for all your help. <laughs> mm -hmm. We somehow avoided, like, nobody asked a question and, and Alexos doesn't care, but nobody asked if she was hot. I can't believe that. Oh my god, you're right! <laughs> no, we heard the voice, we were like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So my, my grotto boys are done. Aside yeah. Aside from uh, Alexis's spell finishing, which it does now. Yep. Cool. This place is lit up. Yeah, that's it's, what I think. It's, it's hard to tell where, where the magic is because it's right. hard to tell where the magic isn't. Yeah. He'll just um, be ready to focus on some things um, or just try and keep it until we go to the other side of the ice basically is there magic yes next question yes no. it's can you magic. tell what the light source is i mean it's just real magic -y here it's just kind of ambient release of magics maybe remember that thing i told you about where like it's lit here on the bottom of the ocean mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's magic too mm -hmm. it's lit yeah. bro so the whole thing is pretty magic -y. And therefore, it's difficult to tell where, like, yeah. the big points of magic are. It's um, like the moon on Final Fantasy XIV. The ground just glows. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Magic. The moist depression. What? <laughs> um, that said, uh, anybody... I know you guys are Team Dummy Thick, while well, some of mm -hmm. you are, but, like, anybody with some... some come, on, come on, sense. Could probably figure What's out where the, the basic magic key glow is the, the more glowy brightness parts are coming from mm -hmm. the base That's, of the statues huh what like the base of the statues i mean if you cast magic sense then you could know that too i don't have magic sense well mm -hmm. then i can't tell you that can i <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it doesn't matter they're magical he was just gonna look for any uh mechanisms but when he found the ice wall he's like well whatever it's due diligence Indeed. I guess that's all Team Dummy Thick has, actually, is common sense, right? Yeah. Yeah. Zero yeah, intelligence. We're the most down to earth wisdom. of all of them. I see what you did there. I did do a little pose, little. Were they listening? Were they listening? <laughs> all right. No. Team Grotto Boys finished up, and Team Figure Out What the Hell Charybdis is Doing is coming back now. forget who's leading, but now it's going to be Cryptus. <clears throat> that seems fair, because she was saying like five times, don't worry about it while trying to move us in back into the grotto. And, uh... But are you okay? To... But are you okay? Yourself. Stop asking. I'm trying not to be uh, real right now. Don't, <laughs> like, don't worry about it. No, no. L let's, let's draw more clit. Okay. That's there you it. go. That's where it is. All right. Yeah. I I definitely heard that wrong. Please continue. Yeah, same. Clip. Yeah, no, that's I, what I assumed she said. <laughs> you know what? 
This is recorded for posterity. You can Forever. listen back and yeah. think I'm being a dick. I will. I mean, I, I, mean, I heard it too, so I'm not... I didn't. Because you said it. No, she said it. Yeah, I said it. No, she did. Oh, and it's oh, fine. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Anyway. Moving on. <clears throat> As they approach us. Yeah. Crypto's not saying nothing. She's just going to come back down. Sort of look almost oh, no, unamusedly around. Galatea to beckon her over to the ice. Galatea is just going to explain for all of the grotto boys. She's <laughs> friends with BB, so we can probably trust her. Also, she can talk now. Also, Who's the Nautilus's BB? name is BB. Oh, yeah. No, BB's the Nautilus now. Always has been. That's okay. very wise. Always has been. <laughs> Just to yeah, be clear, fair. the Nautilus's name is, and then she does the bubble bubble. But I guess in common. Can we understand that? BB is close enough. No. <laughs> it's a nickname. Tiki can't hear you. Here we go. Yeah, Jilly will just kind of lean over and goes, those noises. What about the noises? She's like, we can't make those noises. Bub, bub, bub. And she's going to try to bubble. <laughs> bub, bub, bub. Mm -hmm. Your accent is terrible, but that wasn't bad. Nice. Yeah, nice, Dilly. <laughs> I mean, Galatea is like, I'm going to try. And she takes a big gulp in of water and just starts coughing. <laughs> no, that's actually. <laughs> that's actually how you say toilet. <laughs> Just kidding. Not for reals. <laughs> <clears throat> so how does Nera's uh, beckon her over? Just as she starts to like swim back over, he sort of like waves his hand. He's like, excuse me. Can you uh, give us a minute over here? Can you help us, please? I have a, uh, a question for you. She seems hesitant for a moment, but goes ahead and, and joins you. And then uh, when she gets closer, I say, Man, there's a giant ice like door. I'm sure you know that. Uh, could you maybe give us any information about it? Is it? Do you know how to open it? I think we need to keep going this way. I do, in fact, know how to open this door, and I can assist you in a way. However, I can't open the door for you. Okay. How, how do we open the door? I cannot tell you, unfortunately. I hate all these new gods <laughs> and new riddles. Just give us the fucking head, please. <laughs> yes, the old gods are so much better. Listen, at least you knew what they wanted to eat you, mm -hmm. or just do their fucking thing and get on with it. No turning into swans and having sex with people. No riddles. It was very easy. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> we should go back to the old times. An interesting what? idea. It's like... Uh, like <laughs> he looks and goes like, I like Bacchus. And she like she one and fucking. She has her little like flask that she has tied to her, but she just won't open it underwater. Because she knows. <laughs> Smart. She can't drink. It'll mess up her wine. <laughs> I like water. Everything you need to open this portal is here in this grotto. However, I cannot tell you how. If you wish to proceed I can begin the first step for you oh wait 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 before before we start uh uh with that well as as they're she, as she's talking uh has Pico came back down with them right yeah Pico came with them okay so she's like looking at Pico like oh Pico so yeah 
And so now she wouldn't. She, yeah. She just, yeah. <laughs> Words. I'm sorry. What does she I, want to do? I've I've had a lot of coffee. So, <laughs> so uh, since she now since she's like, oh well, perhaps I can do the first step with you. She looks over at Pigo like, yeah, like this this is important, right? Yeah, this is good. Yeah. It's talking she to Pigo. Yeah. She basically wants like confirmation, like, hey, hey, look, this is what the bottle says. This, yeah, we're we're close, right? Oh, Pico does the like weird shaky horse thing. nod thing. All right, that looks overly excited, but it's just how a horse nods. Mm -hmm. right. So yeah, she she just wanted to acknowledge that Pico, you know, like, hey, Pico, yeah, see. May I ask you, what is it that you all think that you're doing here? Well, Alexis will. Oh, you go ahead. go ahead. I was I was gonna say, uh, well, Pico, as far as we understand, was on a mission for Poseidon to get this bottle back and bring it to him. And based on the uh, riddle that the being inside the bottle told us, it has led us here. So, I mean. We thought maybe this is what Pico needed to do. Yeah, and Alexis just goes that, yeah. Everyone's been super helpful and vague. I imagine so. Especially if you spoke to the Oracle. Mm. Is the, the Oracle, Oracle the voice in the bottle? Yeah, the Oracle's the voice in the bottle. Oh, okay. That's why it speaks in weird riddles and not in a Plain. normal manner that all of us would understand. No, it has to be riddles. Yep. But we did it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In fairness, it's not her fault. Oh, I'm sure. Does her prizes her curse as well. Oh, I was about to say, I was like, does she need to eat a crystal too? No. I don't, look, I don't know. It's been a very interesting couple of days, okay? <laughs> I'm sure it has. Then you would like to proceed? Well, Absolutely. Does Pico do anything? Like, does he try and go anywhere? Or does he just, like, stare at the ice door? Like, go ahead and open it. Like, he's just waiting for us. Pico? Looks like you guys do. They're, they're waiting for whatever's going to happen. Okay. Yeah. Um, Alexa just goes, absolutely. Right? Thank you. He's just looking around, absolutely, right? Yeah. I, I guess there's a uh, another puzzle we must solve here, and we should start looking around. Okay. So start it up. This is um, it doesn't necessarily have any uh, bearing on things that are to come. Do you want to get your ship in order before you do this, or do you want to just plow ahead what do you mean by because you had you had plans to like get your friends off of the nautilus and onto your boat and maybe take all the treasure and stuff oh oh so we're at a, a we're at a entering into a disc two sort of situation so we need to get make sure you've done everything you want to do before proceeding mm -hmm. as we walk into like an ominous doorway and then we walk back out if you click can't yeah. several cutscenes will play in uh, <laughs> sequence. Yeah. Do you want to save before you continue? Yeah. Alexis so, is ready. Like, whatever. We're fine. I could do that when we get out of here successfully. Let's go. But what but what if it takes a while? So Yeah, what if they run just, out of air? I mean you can a... you can stop him. He's just that way. Yeah. Just so that so you have an idea why I'm asking this. As you guys are like, yeah, start it up. She swims back up over to uh, Blub Blub and basically stands atop his back 
like some chariot, like standing in a great chariot, right? She's standing on the back of the, the Nautilus, and it starts to swim in a circle around the edge of the grotto, and the water starts to swirl. You don't feel affected by it, but you see it starting to swirl. <clears throat> Our friends are going to get so sick in that tiny little cabin room. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, they're, they're, they're sailors. They should be all right, right? Come on, through the wall of ice, yes, in and out, 20 minute adventure. adventure. Yeah. <laughs> totally, 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 totally. Okay, so. Swirl, 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 swirl. Faster, 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 faster. They are probably a couple of them sick at this point. Um, the water starts to lift up and out of the grotto, and from the bottom of the seafloor up to the sky, eventually, after a few minutes, you can see. This says, a great whirlpool caused by Charybdis. Go figure. Yeah. <clears throat> Yo! Yo! <laughs> Denitra, come on. <laughs> Why not? No, you're good. But I believe, Denitra, what you meant was ya yo, ya yo. Uh, no. Look, I've been, I have been trying not to, like, the whole time, okay? <laughs> Why? Because she's watching One Piece. Yeah, I know. No, oh, but the actual music is so much better than Yayo. No, no. Yayo. <laughs> Took a bite of gum gum. Oh my god. But yeah. Damage never don't don't season give season. it up, Luffy. Oh my god. Anyone sorry, can definitely stop it from continuing because Alexa's answer is always yes. So if you want to do something, definitely do it. Don't let me. Don't let the short Klingon uh, drag us into it. I mean, yeah. I guess it could be wise, but I don't, I don't know. It's we're gonna have to take the Nautilus all the way back up. Yeah. I mean, you're pretty. It's pretty much too late at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, we're good. That's fine. Yeah. We're locked in. Let's go. We hit yes without thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Was there a sub quest that gave us like a magic sword or something? Death. Nah. Yeah. Oops. Daros is just really happy with the waters leaving the grotto. He's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Uh, after probably no more than five minutes time, there is a giant whirlpool above you. And you can see directly up into the sky. You can breathe oxygen. You are still wet. It's not necessarily the greatest smell down here, but you know, you probably smelled worse at this point. Okay. So uh, Mir Mira immediately just sort of like fans out her wet, wet ass wings and she she's trying to, you know. <gasps> <laughs> It's good, right? I mean, Billy's going to be like the little belly dancer, kind of like hip shake to one leg and like flick. <laughs> Sarah's just the, the full wet dog. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, I just, I just shook out my wigs. Ah, oh, no, ah. Uh. Galatea takes off her boots and lets her toes sink into the sand. Nerys and Alexa just kind of stare at each other like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine. This is also fine. Yeah. yeah. You land walkers. <laughs> what? Imagine not doing both. Come on. <laughs> How uncivilized. Uh, so anyway, well, look around. Yeah. What's changed? Nothing really except that there's no water here. No the uh, ice door is still very much intact. The okay. uh, statues are still very broken. Huh. And I the ice wall is uh, uncovered in this as well, right? It's not beyond the edge of the water. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, looking around, is there any amount of like discernible, mm -hmm. usable debris to like try to help do something with these statues, or these are just worn over time and it's dust now? Actually, the uh, the edges of these statues still look oddly crisp, as if they okay. had been recently broken. Oh. Look around oh, well. to see if there's any breaky pieces. Breaky Break pieces? Puzzle pieces, you know. Rebuild a little statue of a dude. Yeah, pieces that will be easily put back together to, you know. Okay, yeah. so, so we start so, rebuilding the statues. Let's, if we can shrine of the silver monkey, this shit. Yes. If we can't, we can't. Okay. Yeah. 
These are very, very, very large statues, mm -hmm. but um, anybody who wants to fucks with them, uh, either like visually, give me perception, or if you want to go over and poke at them, give me intelligence. Well, not intelligence, uh, the other one, investigation, which is intelligence, right? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. I'll do a perception. Oh, I'll well. do investigation. Even though Mira has no business doing that, because it'll be funny. She's just very curious. She's just like, ooh, ooh let's look, let's look around. Okay. Delilah is distinctly unhelpful. <laughs> Theros is very busy shaking his fur out. Yeah. He's just really happy. He's like, he's like, his fur is a little fluffy right now because he just shook all the water. I just like. There's got to be some pretty good wind, not like crazy wind, but I'm just imagining you, you know, like Tressa May. Once so like, again, maybe it's Merbling. So like a wet Highland <laughs> yeah. cow? How cute! Yeah. <laughs> just Merble flowing in the essence. Merbel essences. <laughs> He's got the merch. So, Alexos, uh, when you entered down here, you kind of noticed the notices, mm -hmm. noticed the the pieces of the uh, perceived Poseidon statue. Mm -hmm. uh, and upon further inspection of the base mm -hmm. of the statue next to you and another piece that you recognize is his... Uh, look at this thing. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. <clears throat> Which is another piece that you recognize as probably part of his garb. Uh, they okay. just do look like they might fit together. Crisp enough right. to do so. Um, Nerus... You go over and you you poke a piece of statue that's not a base piece, probably some somebody's head. I don't know. And uh, well, it does it does feel like dense, dense stone, and it's big. It's like probably like if you hold your arms out in a circle and touch the tips of your fingers together, that's probably how big this this head is. It's a large noggin, but it it moves, and if you go to pick it up, you can pick it up. Hmm. Ooh, it, if you squeeze it it definitely does not crumble it does not give way at all it's dense, it's rock but it's light for some reason I go, uh, so when I when I notice that, I look over at uh, the other two and I'm like, and like, start like, raise it with one hand it's like, who's team dummy thick now? alright <laughs> 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 Guess you were lifting when we weren't looking. <laughs> yeah, well, there's some more to pick up over here. I yeah, think that shocker. goes together. <laughs> if you want to go get this part, too, I think we could put that on this one. So, Alexa just points it out. Sure. Okay. Start walking over. He picks over it up. And... and then he just, he's like, oh, as he puts it down, he's like, they're not mm -hmm. heavy. You, anybody can pick these up, oh. I think. Treachery. I got you for a minute, and that's all that matters. You're good. Uh, Dilly's going to look and is like, are we trying to put them back together? I think I think that might be the best course of action. They do, okay. they do seem like they will fit, or uh, go back, I should say. Well, um, hold, when you hold a piece together that fits, just let me know. I'll see if I can send okay. it. Mm. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, yeah, so I'll take it over to the one that Alexos mentioned and see if they will uh, join and, and look like they fit. Well, okay. you are putting Billy will head go onto a pair of feet. No, he said the, the other pieces. He picked them up, too. Oh. I, I pointed out the trident pieces or the pieces that she told to me. It was just uh, a misunderstanding that happened. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Um... With uh, investigation or perception, can we tell if, like, it looks like the statue pieces fell, like, around, like down and around the bases, or are they just sort of scattered everywhere in this in this grotto? I will give you freely that they are scattered. Mm -hmm. okay. If you want to put these statues together, you are going to have to identify what's what, mm -hmm. and you have identified one of the many pieces. But now we know that's what we got to do. Or at least that's a thing to do. 
Okay. Then I guess we'll try and start uh, separating these pieces into into groups. Mm -hmm. See if we can discern what who the five are, and yeah. and start separating them out into piles. When you identify like pieces that should fit together, Dilly will just be there to see if she can mend them to stick together. Mm. Okay. Seems like a smart move. When we get there, yeah. Um, would it be like an investigation to figure out which pieces go together, or is there uh, is there like spaces around the uh, bases that would like signify anything? So, um, I actually don't have a count of how many pieces there are, but there are a lot of pieces, and okay. um, as you go to one, give me a roll. I'll tell you what it looks like. You can try and figure out who it belongs to. <clears throat> and everybody can do this. But you'll want to cool. keep notes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Because um, I'm, I'm not going to tell you um, what piece looks like it goes with what. I'm going to tell you what the pieces look like. And you need to figure out, based on their appearances, what they probably go with. And since I was not being scholarly earlier, it was Neptune, Aries, sorry, Poseidon, Aries. Mm -hmm. Yes, Poseidon, Aries, and those are the only two that were identified off the bat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I, can I try to identify one of the ones that isn't identified yet? Absolutely. Wonder. Do you want to do uh, a piece oh, or a base? No, piece uh, or a base. A base. Okay. A base. <clears throat> The, remember the action I'll mark it now. The one with the purple circle next to it is Poseidon. Okay. And the one... I guess I'll put a square next to it. Okay. Uh, that one's Aries. Okay. Actually, I'll go to... I can type letters, can't I? Mm -hmm. You can. <laughs> New text. I think you double click it while in the thing. I am to get it. doing that. Uh, uh. Little know that that was his original name. <laughs> New text. Later New changed. changed. New text. God of War. Yeah. New t from the New Testament. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I'm going to try to identify this base over here if I can. This one? Okay. Mm hmm. Uh, give me an investigation roll. Okay. Nailed it. That is enough. Huh? You can tell that uh, the base of this statue is a pair of shapely legs atop a scallop. Oh. So, Afro did do. Could be. Is that what you think? Sure. You said scallop, like an oyster. I thought you meant scallop as in, like, you know, a, a dress feature. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> All good. Yeah. This is Aphrodite. She <clears throat> visited Athena sometimes. Didn't like hunting, though. Too much dirt. Not you Athena. Sorry. That one. Artemis. Aphrodite, because it's on a clam. This is Aphrodite. It's on a clam. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anybody else want to do some investigating? Yeah, I'll check out the uh, top center. Okay. Give me an investigation roll. I'm going to come down and look at this Aphrodite. Uh, okay. And keep in mind, I'm just labeling it when you tell me to label it. It might not be. Yeah, no. no. I, mean, I was like, does it look female? A million monkeys with a million typewriters will get this. We'll just have to roll a million times. It's fine. It was actually <laughs> Zeus. Zeus had really, really nice legs. Nobody ever knew. Mm. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, it's... The, got them beer got thighs. Yeah. <laughs> it, was always, it was always hidden under the, uh, the toga. No one could ever see it. Yeah. Mm. 
I'm going to do uh, the nearest one first. Mm -hmm. You wanted to, and you got a nine. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, you see uh, one leg broken at the ankle, one broken at the knee, and there's a quiver of arrows leaning up against uh, the higher, less broken leg. Okay. Is Artemis a Greek? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Diana in the Roman version. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Artemis the Huntress. Yep. Gotcha, gotcha. Final answer. Yeah, Artemis. You think this one's Artemis? Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> and then you went down to check out scalp scalp legs over here? Yeah, I wanted to make sure it looked feminine. It's hard to tell from a pair of legs, you know. Dudes, dudes yeah, sometimes have really super nice legs, but seems like there's a, a pretty good chance. I'm I look around for everything that looks like boobies. Okay. Just scrounge around for a pair of tits. Go ahead and give me... <laughs> wow. Go ahead and give me a... Uh... Feminine parts. I'm looking for feminine parts. Okay. Perception, please. <laughs> Dilly's like, hey, hey, anybody see any boob rocks? I'm looking for rocks that yeah. look like boobs. Do you, do you ask, anybody see any boob rocks, or do you just look? No. Oh, she's just, she's just scrounging around, and she's looking them up, and then looking at her set, and then like, nah. Yeah. <laughs> she's up, the up near, uh, up near Nerus, you actually do eventually find, uh, a torso and head. So you find some boob rocks and feminine features together. Ooh. Oh, okay. Do they fit together? Um, they're already together. Okay. So the I torso, look at this and I go... Right. Yeah. The torso and, and head do not look uh -huh. like they will fit on these feet, though, because it's just, like, waist up and head. Okay. So, um... Yeah, they probably are with that statue that was up there. It would also be feminine. So you, well, so you need a pelvis. Mm-hmm. Still stick it on the ground, like... Head, side, head up right next to the legs. Okay. And just so kind of like wanna... a look at the proportions to see if this is the right one. Because oh, it the could also just be scattered. The proportions of all the statues are very similar. So I don't know that you'll be able to decide mm. based on proportion. Okay. 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 All right. Well, does it look like it has a bow or quiver or anything on the? No. It's a uh, it's sort of a waist up torso with uh let me look at my description. Yes, waist up torso with a a very beautifully rendered face sort of upturned slightly looking a little bit snooty. Hands are just sort of out like looking as if she's floating. Yeah. Right. But no other features other than that. Very naked. You know, a very beautiful statue. Very, very okay, beautiful so, statue with uh, her clam hanging out. Yeah. Dilly will just kind of put it in the center and okay. go, all right, looking for a lady part. Need some thighs. <laughs> Mira's like, don't we all? <laughs> but no one knows what way she means. Mm -hmm. oh. Are you going to eat them? Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gardenia. Is that what you're going to do? Oh, no. Mm. That's right. not what I meant. Then, uh, I guess Nerys will then, uh, with that information, search for uh, a pelvis and thighs. Okay. Give me a perception and, or investigation. And I say, might be naked. 
Okay. 21. Perception. Well, with a 19, uh, you don't immediately find this pelvis in the thighs. Regardless. Still don't see it. And you immediately. Um, what you do see is like a strange, whirled piece of cloth. Obviously rendered in stone, but it, it, it shows up very obviously as cloth. And when you get closer to it, wrapped inside of it towards the bottom is the pelvis and thighs. Ah, okay. Sort of attached at the booty. Gotcha, um, gotcha. Yes. And the, the cloth rounds out and goes up and rounds out and goes down around the thighs and above. If that makes sense. It does. It does. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, then I sort of pick it up carefully and uh, sort of try to get uh, Delilah's attention and be like, this might be it. It looks feminine and appears almost naked. Stack it, stack it up. Oh, see if it fits. So I'll take it and I'll, uh, I'll move it to the statue, that uh, bottom left statue, and uh, see if the like the legs to feet match up. Are you actually going to put the piece on top? Yes. Actually, no. Because of it, no. I'll try it. I'll try it to the to the body piece first. Okay. So, I hold up the body piece. You put the legs underneath. We stack it. Mm-hmm. It's not too difficult. Um, there's a, a little bit of like shimmying to get the body to fit inside of the world cloth, but it goes in there and the pieces do seem to fit together. Uh, so snugly, in fact, it looks like they're not broken. Mm. Very nice. And you can still move both pieces with relative ease. Well, it, they're very big, like quite large, but they're not too heavy for any of you to pick up alone. Okay. Now I will see if I can move it feet uh, or its legs onto the feet part of the base. So I figured it might be hard to get the torso on the legs if the legs fit. Okay. Mm-hmm. And that. I mean, we do have a giant lady with us who can be a ladder. That's true. That's true. <laughs> And that goes on even more easily. Okay. Okay. Once this happens, you guys hear a faint noise. You hear a meow in the background. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. What do you want? We're we're on right now. Anyway, you hear a, you faint, a faint, and you don't necessarily... Oh, God, snakes. Yeah, you don't necessarily there see you anything at first. You smell a very, like, pleasant, flowery odor, sort of, sort of like an odor, fragrance, like <sighs> fill the grotto, and... Oh, uh, crap. Yeah. Oh, that's better than it was, because it kind of smelled like dead fish in here earlier. <laughs> Harsh, man. <laughs> Probably because of all the fish we killed. They're just flopping around in here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like just like grab one and like chuck it at the whirlwind. <laughs> at the whirlpool it pops lake. out and says, Thanks, good sir, and then goes back in. <laughs> and then I need all of you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh yeah. No. Huh? Oh no. Yes. Is this a magical effect for those people who it would matter? Why are you asking? Because someone like Dilly has resistance against magical effects. Is it a spell? And, and also charm effects. Yeah, right? And the uh, us elven boys have resistance. Okay, to... so... We're gonna work this in a way where you will get some resistance, but not as much as normal. So no. I'll just... Um, the DC is... Do I have advantage? Yeah, let's do it that way. That's easy. I will do a DC 14 with advantage. Okay. Okay, 16. Oh, poor Theros. I bury fail. Yeah. Oh, no, Galatea, did you? Who rolled first? Uh, it looks uh, like, I did. I, yeah, yeah, I rolled first with a 16. 
Okay. Yep. It was, I was like, has it already been a minute? Shit. All right. So Nerus passes, Alexos passes, Theros does not pass, Mira passes, Delilah passes, and Galatea does not pass. Hooray. Hooray. Um, Theros and Galatea, roll me a d6. Right? No. Yeah, d6. Okay. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> no, you that shouldn't wait. count. That shouldn't count. Okay, wait, so that shouldn't count. What? No, I I set each of you as one. So, um your four would have been yourself, Galatea, but you're one instead, so I'm moving you. So, oh, I see where um, this is going. Yes, you do. Galatea, you suddenly feel very infatuated with Mirror. And Theros, yeah. you feel very infatuated with Delilah. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Lamb's back on the menu, boys. <laughs> hey. <Lamb. laughs> goat. <laughs> Got a bowl and a goat. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, not like Dilly would have a problem with it. I mean, they've got horns. Exactly. <laughs> it's fine. So. so that lasts an hour or until something happens that helps you to get rid of it. Hmm. Um, and uh, Denitra, feel free to, at any point, uh, Galatea is going to go ahead and just start brushing at your wings. Oh, like, is just, totally just like, oh my gosh, yes, go ahead. <laughs> oh, okay. The other yeah, thing, sure. the other thing um, that will get rid of this if it's before the hour passes or something else, uh, a kiss. If you kiss either of them, like if either of the pairs kiss, spell ends. <laughs> I'm perfectly fine that. with this. Um, so uh, she's just going to start being like... You've, you've been underwater for so long. I feel like you should really, um, let me just, and, and she starts giving a nice deep massage onto the wings. Oh yeah. Mira is just like, oh my gosh. Thank Mira you just so collapsed much. down onto the ground. And yeah, Kelly like, is ah. just giving her a back rub. It's like, guys, we're busy. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Just, yeah. Keep, yeah right there. <laughs> but there's, there's a lot of tension, right? Right. In... Right. <laughs> All right. Well, the, the party there's a girl. commotion now. Party girl is is uh so that statue down at the bottom is done correct? Yes. Yes. Yeah. That one okay. that one is complete and it is very obviously Aphrodite. Mm-hmm. Uh, out Shocking. of character because of the charm. <laughs> um, in character, you guys perhaps don't know what's going on, but she looks like Aphrodite as you've ever seen yeah. her. So that is a okay, really cool. pretty statue, guys. <laughs> Theros has been yeah. pretending he's trying to figure out who this bottom statue is, but he doesn't actually know what any of the new Pantheon gods look like. <laughs> so it's like, looks like a person, I guess. I don't know which one does what. They all just look like people. Yeah. Uh, do you want to do a roll anyway? Well, you don't know what they are, so you wouldn't possibly be able to figure it out, huh? I, maybe just to see like their like their features. Like, oh, like this one's got to See what it is, and you can ex explain it to mm -hmm. other people. Yeah, you know, like that, the, with, with the face. <laughs> with the face. Uh, investigation, right? Mm-hmm. Also go swimmingly. Negative one? Oh, yeah. Hey. Negative two, but... Wow. Oh. Okay. Well, uh, you see at the, the base of this statue, uh, an anvil. Dilly's gonna come over. Like, I think I know who it is, but it's like, I need to... <sighs> I believe it's Hephaestus, but um, mm. yeah, yeah. There, there is a shy voice. So when Dilly gets closer, he just keeps like side eyeing, like, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> goes, All right, I, I look at it. I look at it. It's like, is this one a boy or a girl? Do I need to look for lady bits or man bits? Uh, 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 he looks under. The, <laughs> he looks under between the statue's legs. <laughs> There's not that much of the statue there. I don't know. This is anvil and legs. 
no oh, you say and it's like oh ooh, ooh. The, the hammer of the god um um um, um in the underworld uh we're looking for a man a man man bit and then she's just gonna dart off and just start looking for her. <laughs> okay bro. are you are you Eggs. blushing <laughs> Hurt her? he's blushing can't tell blushing blushing I gotta see. Does she even notice? Oh yeah. Well. Does she notice? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Galatea is to the shoulders, Mir, and is slowly going to work down to lower back. Oh yeah, she's. Mira has completely forgotten about the objective because <laughs> she's getting her wings touched and, you know, she's she's all about that. She's just like, yeah, you know, everybody else, they'll, they'll, they'll deal with the... There is a bug on my monitor. Oh, no. Yeah, so... But anyways, what was that? A oh, fucking gnat. Gnats. Anyways. But yeah, she she's completely forgotten that, uh, about the task at hand. She's like, yeah, yeah, statues, everybody else's. Yeah, just yeah, get that spot again. Well, over right here. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right there. Yeah, Dilly will take a moment to like point out um, which ones we think the others are. So like, uh, she'll mention the 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 the, the Aries one. Oh, well, that one's Poseidon, we think. But like, so mm -hmm. that one needs a trident. Um, you actually uh, see the trident. Look for a hammer. Yeah. The, the Poseidon one has waves at the base and a mm. trident like awkwardly sticking out. Oh, okay. All right. So, well, that's Poseidon. And then she goes like, uh, that, one's, that one's probably, he goes under Hades. He work, He he lives in the underworld. Um, he creates their weapons. Um, we need to look for a hammer to go with the anvil. And then uh, she looks up at the top and she points out, and that one, if we find any other lady bits, we think is Artemis. And so she's just going to go scrounge around for torsos. Okay. Neris will look for any uh, anybody holding a hammer or a hammer itself. <clears throat> okay. Galatea suddenly has one of those smocks like the masseur masseuses have where they have the oil and then they have the, the like <clears throat> the towels and the... Well, Neris... You look behind the Aphrodite statue you're standing in front of, and there's just a fucking golden hammer just chilling right there. Oh, huh, sweet. Is it attached to anything, or is it by itself? Nope, just a hammer. Okay. Pick up the hammer, like, huh. and I bring it over and uh, set it next to the bottom right statue. Yeah. It's like, well, I got a hammer, if this is anything. Oh. I just need to find a hand okay. or something. Where'd you find it? Over here behind Aphrodite. Uh, oh. uh okay well that tracks <laughs> like so dilly's gonna kind of put her hands on her hips and just like there's a lot of a lot of scrap rock and pieces and she's just gonna go oh, well it can't really hurt and she's just gonna um cast one of her features okay Oof. she's going to use the spirit totem, and she's going to cast the uh, uh, spirit. So, do you say hawk? Like above us. Yeah. So, because uh, it'll give our allies advantage on perception checks while in the aura. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. So. Uh, okay. Galatea's eyes suddenly light up. She's like, oh no, there's a lot of tension right here. <laughs> Extra perception. Found it. All right, who's Near. looking for, for what? Me? Yeah. Who wants lady to look for bits. what? You're looking for lady bits? Okay, give me a perception. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Rolled the same. <laughs> you know, you, uh, you gave it a real good once over, but you are not finding any other lady bits. Mm. Might not be a lady up there. Who else? Cupid. Cupid. Uh, I would like to look uh, for armor. Someone wearing armor. Okay. Go ahead and give me a roll. Perception. Perception. Is Cupid a god? I'm not sure. 16. Sure. 
uh, close to the the ice wall itself. You see uh, what looks like it might be a smooth sort of torso figure. Could be armor. Okay, then I'll uh, I'll pick it up and uh, maybe move it. And not maybe, but I'll pick it up and like, well, this one is wearing armor, I think. Uh, and move it towards the Aries. You said it, you said it's the up. Oh, it's the torso. It is actually uh, everything that is not on that particular base. That base itself is uh, sort of like a gravelly looking generic battlefield setting. Mm -hmm. with uh, legs that go all the way up to the thigh. And what you found is the torso and, like, a very fancy helmeted head with uh, the arms still intact. One of the arms is outreached as if it's holding something, but there's nothing in his hand. You just okay. immediately put that on top of... What was that, Trust? Oh, no, I was just going to make a joke. It's fine. Okay. Uh, then I'll move that and place it on top of the... Uh leftmost statue. Okie dokie. I'll go mend. Seems like these statues haven't needed mending, right? They just kind of slot in place. Yeah. Once you, you put the thing in place, as far as you can tell, it's like, it's like a secret door where the they close together and the gap between is so fine you can't tell. It's like those minis where once you crack them in place, you're fucked. You can't separate them <laughs> oh yeah from uh your uh epic uh, adventures yeah yeah we're not doing shout outs of bought products here today though so let's just keep going hashtag not <laughs> sponsored but we will not just sponsored. uh mm -hmm. get in contact just let us know yeah Call us. we love things mm -hmm. <laughs> get in contact but also give us free things because we Cause. We'll definitely, we'll definitely give it a shot. Yeah. How dare you? <laughs> but just one. Just one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if it's a really good product, we might give it. So. Plus. Plus. <laughs> <laughs> this, this whole time, Alexos has just been trying to put together the Poseidon statue for obvious reasons. <laughs> like he doesn't care about any of the other ones. He he knows what this statue probably looks like. Goes through all the work, puts it all back together, and then immediately just knocks it all apart again and puts it back together. Bitch. No, right. he's definitely thinking this is on purpose. This he is doing this one on purpose, and Poseidon is laughing at him. <laughs> all right, um, give me a perception check. Unless you yep. just want to pick a random piece and walk up to it. This is no, he's just going to be looking around. You can stand where you are and like look around for the piece that you want and see if you find it, or you can be like, I'm looking directly at a piece, and I'll tell you what you find. Okay. Uh, well. Okay. Uh, la, 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 yeah, la, just la, scanning. La. Yes. Not too far. Uh, and actually, very close to where Nerys is uh, currently, behind the Nerys statue. You see what appears to be maybe the rest of this statue. Hmm. Just kind of loosely collected nearby. Just, just over there. Chilling. Okay. Well then, I'll I'll go, say nothing to anyone, like offer no help in any other way, <laughs> and grab it, and come back and and start trying to put Poseidon together over here. Okay. Once that one slots into place, mm -hmm. uh, you see, actually, and you probably uh, see it magically also because you're you're thinking yeah, it's not gone yet. Um, you see. A sheet of something, magic, water, not really sure, like wash over the mm -hmm. front of that ice uh, door uh, thing, sort of like reinforcing it. Got you. Uh, but yeah, in the opposite direction of what we want, basically. Yes. Okay. That's the, that's the uh, feeling you get. Okay. Uh, so he kind of sits there for a second looks at the statue and then looks at the, the wall and he says to the statue I'm going to enjoy this if I have to break it that's just what he's thinking <laughs> um, so he's going to start 
as people are putting uh, the statues together, he's going to keep a closer eye on the wall to see what happens okay. um, as they do it. So he put it together and then he just kind of fucks off over here <laughs> and stares at the wall. I did mine. Bye. Yeah, it was like, I got my, I got my uh, classwork done. I'm out. Um, okay. at, at this point, uh, Galatea has stood a uh, mirror back up and she's like, okay, so cross your wings in front of you and then cross your arms in front of you. And she oh, picks her up to pop her back, her back, yeah. back. And, and the wing joined a little bit too. Oh yeah. So, uh, her, her vertebrae all pop nicely and, you know, <laughs> sick. and a mirror is making, uh, some very pretty noises. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like a dove. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> Please continue actually playing D&D. &D. Uh, Nearest goes, hey, does All anybody right. know what, uh, this, this, uh, war guy, Aries, uh, wields? I mean, Jilly goes, maybe a sword or a spear. And then she'll start looking around for any any other okay. weapons. Now, the the one by the Artemis that may or may, may not be female. Um, you said it was a bow or a quiver was next to it. There's a quiver, quiver, meaning against the leg that's less broken. Okay, so we definitely need to find a bow, and then. Um. Then yeah, Mary's gonna, gonna have a sword spear. So uh, Dilly's gonna look for weapons. Okay, Nerys is looking for yeah. a sword or a spear. Look for weapons. Delilah's looking just for weapons in general. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, roll me perception for both. Not twenty. Hey. Wow, both of you. Twenty two. Guys, see less good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no. so uh, you see, actually, towards the center of the, I almost said arena, of the grotto, Nerus, you see a, 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 what looks like maybe the tip of a blade sticking out from under the sand. Okay, I'll dig it up. And as you dig, at first you think it's a sword, and then it gets longer, and it gets longer, and it gets longer. But it's no, a sweet. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> okay, I'll pick up the sphere, sphere, the spear, and uh, try and fit it in uh, the hand. Okay. Uh, you might have a little difficulty because the wider part of the spear is at the top, and so you probably won't be able to do it from underneath. Unless hmm. you might need to climb it or ask somebody taller. <laughs> yes, Remember, I mean, these are I mean, so quite large. Yes. Uh, I need someone who can fly. Working on the calves, <laughs> rolling around the ankle. Just sort of looks over there. Hmm, I need someone who can fly. Hmm, what? Oh, I can't fly. I'm back to working. <laughs> He's like, uh, he'll try, uh, I think he'll try climbing. I'll go athletics because it'll be more funny. Hmm. Fifteen. A little weak boy starts trying to climb an airy statue. Yeah. 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 And the opposite yeah. of dummy thick. Smart fit, smart skinny, slender. skinny, smini, smini, <laughs> smarty, smarty, tardy, smarty, small. <laughs> <laughs> no! 
That does the wall react. I was muted. So yeah, there's a... (laughs) Nerus manages to do the thing, and now they have to roll initiative. Sum up. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Just Nerus does, or...? Everybody. Yeah. Okay. Even but, even the massage party. I'm yeah, like, everybody. Okay, we're in you, combat. If you want, I'll roll no, initiative. No. Yeah, I was like, I'm rolling initiative. I was just did, asking. Did the wall react to that statue being put together? No. Okay. Let me find these doodly doos. Let me find these doodly doos. Doodly doos. Doodly doos. Doodly doodly doo. There you are. And from above, you see. If it's a harpy, so help me God. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <Uh-oh. laughs> T- tisn't. To the north and the south, on the east side. If we assume that what's north here is up, uh, you see sure. two centaurs jump down over the edge of the grotto. They're not your normal centaurs. They have fish bottoms as if they were pico centaurs. But you know, huh. I don't have a picture for that, so this is what you get. So Sagittarius men. Sagittarius men. Cap- Capric- Capricorn. Capricorny. I like it. Accurate. The crush crew is at the bottom of the initiative. Too distracted. Makes sense. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. All right. You set them up and we'll knock them down. Massage. Or keep giving out massages. Indeed. You guys show up. <laughs> and they seem weirdly mechanical. Like, not... not... As if they look like robots, but as if they were claymation. Not, not in their own, ha ha ha. Not in, not in having uh, their own senses. Mm. Not, Guys, not it's skeleton men. Look out! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Delilah is up first. All right. We need to actually put down your aura too, don't we? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Or at least figure out where where the edges would be. So you probably put it in the center. This happens to be as as much of the center as possible because that's where a lot of the stuff was. Yeah. You should be able to, if you recast the spell, just don't use a spell slot, but keep the template. That way you're not burning another spell slot, but it should give you the template to place down. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a, not a feature. Spell slot. It's not a spell slot. Oh, okay. Does it when you Here. When you use it, does it give you the... It babe, didn't give me the option this time. Babe, where were you going to do it? Like That's dead center? It covers, oh, it covers the whole thing. It's 30 foot radius. Oh, oh well. Wow. Actually, that's too yeah. big. That's, I, that's too big. You got this. Probably like all the way to the edges. Yeah, of the statues or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, because the hawk spirit. Ah, cool. So I can use my reactions to help. Yeah, I'm okay, um, cool. going to have that only be five rounds instead of. Yeah, because uh, we already. Yeah. yeah. Um, so where is the. Okay, the thing is that we see is over there. Okay. Um, I'm going to be like. Okay, that does not look good. <laughs> um, Dilly likes the fact that she's far away from it. And 
she is going to to read this real quick. Does it look big? Yes, they are large. Um, I'm gonna waste this buff. That. Um, it's not have popped out. Like, what does she have? Uh, sorry, reading my spells on. On. You're good. You're this first initiative. Easy. And stuff. Uh, the question: What does it look like? It's made out of. Stone, Flesh. metal. It's a fleshy Flesh. boy. Fleshy. Fleshy. Any metal? Um, not other than some armor and uh, its weapon. Okay. Okay. It's wearing like and a chain far... armor? I missed both how of far what is you said. From... How far is it from me? Uh, however far it is on the map. 50 feet? Yeah. Where's the ruler? 50 feet. Oh, that one? 40 feet. Oh, there's more than one. Yes. Um, okay. Yeah, they need to be closer for me to do that. Uh, I'm going to... I'm just going to cast a moonbeam. Okay. But and moonbeam at right a range of 120 feet, and we'll just in there. Oh, it's gonna gonna right on that one. Wait, where did my little spell thingy go? So I don't know. You motherfucker. Please. What's it? You're talking about the, the thing that shows you how big it is? Oh, no. There's my template. Okay. Dude. It's right on top of the dude. What are you talking about? Okay. It's just the same size. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm just roll rolling the damage per normal. So it damage isn't going to occur until the start of its turn. Okay. Well, that shit. Okay. Okay. She's going to do that. To know it doesn't resist. So yay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So uh, radiant damage and ah, uh, that's that's it. Um. I can move it as a bonus action on my next turn, so uh, I will move my character over here. Okie dokie. Now it's the centaur's turn, the southern centaur. Sassy southern centaur, Sassy Sally. Southern centaur. Sally Sword. Soothsaying mm -hmm. silly sand suckers. Where's Pico? Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Probably in the water. Yeah, I would guess. Okay. Pico's just chilling. Okay. Yeah. Probably as soon as the whirlwind happened was like, yeah, I'm just gonna Surprise, surprise. Not being helpful. Oh my gosh. It really does suck that Pico's like glorious moment was outside of the ship, <laughs> like, and it was just keeping up with the ship and dodging people. <laughs> He's had a very rough go of it. Okay, has he really? He has. When we what first met him, he was caught in a net. <laughs> oh, big fucking deal. Alright, so the centaur's gonna Traumatic. attack Theros. <laughs> <laughs> you attack me while I continue to talk shit on Pico. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're serious. 
Because that's why. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> and if, if that's the reason, no, it is what, what a fucking <laughs> useless horse. <laughs> <laughs> hey, does a 26 gonna... hit? Yeah. Oh, shit. Ten damage. Also, it's got multi attack. Does a twenty hit? Uh, yes. Fourteen damage. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, that's the end of his turn. It is now Alexis's turn. Okay. So he was Did I put looking at Alexis down. Uh, yeah. Okay. Like a yeah, I think so. You, Alexis so. four. Yeah, I, it's because I have like once again I have too many versions of this character all the way up to like level fifteen. So each one has a number at the end, and we're level four, so that's why it's a four. Uh, overachiever. Yeah. Look, I want to know what I want to do. Um, <laughs> speaking of what I want to do, so I saw that one run in and attack Theros. Hmm. All right, well. He's going to cast Sacred Flame on the one that ran in on Theros. Okay. Um, so it's a DC 15 Dexterity. It saves. Okay. I don't believe it takes damage. No. Okay. And then the second, my bonus action is to cast Spiritual Weapon. I don't need a template. But I do need my shield. I think I have it? Yeah. I think I can drag it on, maybe. If not. No, I can't. I think I can control it. I just can't drag it on. Go he is. <clears throat> Where'd he go? It's right next to you. Oh, all the icons are broken. Oh, for me. Yeah. At least. Well, booty. Where would you like to put the... Want me to put the shield? Oh, just um, behind it. <clears throat> yeah, right there. It can't grant flanking or bene benefit from it, but that's fine. And then it will attack. Oh, attack. Dirty 20. It hits. Eight damage. Uh, force if it matters. Um, and then he'll just yell out, all right, maybe we should prepare before finishing the statues. Something's going on. But yeah, kill these guys. That's about it. Uh, he... Yeah, why not? He will also move... There. Did I move my spiritual weapon, too? I can't see that I have yes, it. Yes, you did. Yeah, since it's not there, I can't see that I have it selected. Yeah, That's funny. Did. Cool. That's the end of his turn. Okay. Nerus, you're up. Okay. I would the um let me turn this one over here, the far one. Okay. That one. Um I would like to hold my action until he moves closer, at which point I will cast a Eldritch Splash at him. No. Okay. Sure. Mirror, it's your turn. Alrighty. I'm going to bardically inspire Theros real quick. So let me hit that button. The button. Inspired! Woo! There's water everywhere. <laughs> and 
I'm going to viciously mock uh, that uh, centaur over there. The one that's uh, yeah, no north. Okay. Yeah. Just make it oh. sure. Under the yeah. spotlight. Under that moon, moonlight. The moonbeam. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Okay, so. Let's see. This is Mockery. There you are. And he has to do the saving throw. He saves. Oh, okay. Uh... No, you, you don't do damage. Oh, sorry. Forgot. Sorry. Yeah, the since it saved, you just didn't do damage. You're good. What? Okay. Also, when you do a vicious mockery, you gotta tell me what you say. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'd insult your parents, but I doubt you even know them. And all he says nice. is... <laughs> That's all <he> <laughs> She's like, okay, all right. I, I guess I need to I need to be more cutting. My my turn is over. Okay. It is that centaur's turn. Um, he takes uh -oh. <laughs> the four damage from uh, the moonbeam, and mm -hmm. then he turns his attention to mirror because he just said mean things to her. And even if even if it's like affected, she's still fucking rude. So <gasps> it is rude. as soon as he moves, I'd like to make my attack. Absolutely. Uh, normal attack again. Does a 15 hit? Yes. So he takes uh, 11 force damage and is pushed back 10 feet. Hilarious! I get it. Nice. Now. How does that even work? Yeah, just pushed back to. I feet. know, but he's big, so I'm like, one, two, I guess. So he he still touches the moonbeam. <laughs> so, <laughs> Wait, next time he goes back into the moonbeam. Doesn't he have to roll again? No, not to the start of his next. Uh, oh yeah, because first time, right? Mm -hmm. But he did touch it, so start of his next, we will do that roll again. Well, Delilah is just gonna snap it back onto him anyway. So that's going to happen. Because <laughs> I right. just... Well, he went after Mirror. And, uh... Actually, I guess he's going to... He's going to leave the thing again. So. Yeah, he probably has more movement. Yeah. But he just yeah. slowed him down, so maybe... Oh, I guess he can still reach. Damn. Let me double check that, just in case. How far can you go... It doesn't even tell me how far can he go. His total movement, if he's where he is right now, is 25 feet, I think. Yeah, he definitely has more than that. Oh, that's how much he has moved. Yeah, that's what he was. 15 oh, okay. to get to Mira, got pushed yep. back, 10 came back. And everything has more than 30, or it has 30 or more, unless you're like a dwarf. Also, yeah, centaurs yeah. are kind of bullshit with leg speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't find <laughs> it. You got four. Yeah. I'll, so I'll look it up between turns, but uh, yeah. I'm sure that that's fine for now. So, a centaur PC has 50 foot movement. <laughs> yeah. Sheesh. You go but fast. Half speed on stairs. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's well, written into know. the character. That's why All you right. be a centaur monk and just walk up the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Clip a clock. Clip a clock. Clip a clock. <laughs> So. I just imagine them doing like the ball of death thing where they're just like running so fast. They're like, <laughs> yeah. he headed in all menacingly. Like, what'd you say about my mama? Got up to you and then got knocked back by Eldritch Blast and is actually mad now. So he runs back in, rears okay. up, ready to hoof you in the face. Let's oh, see no. if it works. Hoof. Does a 23 hit? Yeah, it is. Nine damage. Okay. 
And after he hoofs you in the face, oof, oof, he brings down his pike. To finish the job, even though you're probably stronger than that, but let's look. Does a 20 hit? Yeah. Seven damage. And that is that guy's turn. Zero, zero. Wisdom saving throw, please. Why? As I spend my reaction. Okay. Uh, stone giant rune. How dare he hit the woman that I'm hitting on. <laughs> you said wisdom? Yes. Can you link that so that I know what it does? I can, but it links the whole feature. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can uh, just look it up on your character sheet. Sorry, it's the... It's the this guy. <laughs> it's stone, stone rune. rune. At least yeah. the bottom one. I'm sorry. That's fine. I, I would link it otherwise every time, but it's just oh it's so bad. Okay. Uh and I needed to make a save of Uh my spell save is uh, I think my stone giant runes are based off strength, so it's going to be a DC 5 plus 2 is 15. Okay, he saves. Okay. You were like, Ugh, and he was like, eh. Meh. And she was like, what? And then he was like, ah. All right, it's Theros' turn. Theros is like, ow. Ow. Theros is in a perpetual state of being bullied by everything. Bullied? It's true. Yeah, not, not, not the regular javelin, but this thing. But that thing. The hey. spur. Oh, nice. That hits for sure. Awesome. If that's the case, then I should really just put this on my bar. Yep. Damage. Remember, I'm always, I'm, it's melee, so I'm going to use the first dice. First dice was a five. It was six. No, actually, it was a six. Okay, it was weird aqua color, so I just overlooked it. Okay, so it's six damage. Plus, plus your strength modifier. Yeah. Right. Six plus four. So ten. And the thing has a plus two on it. So 12. Okay. Uh, okay, I can't do that from the bar. Let's see if I can do it from my spell page then. I do this as my bonus action. Smite. Another 12 damage. Okay. He smote. And as my bonus action, I'll use the... Uh, that's not, a, that's not a bonus section, is it? Using Divine Smite? No, you can just do that on attacks. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, by... Uh, by, by spell slot. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, as my bonus action, I'll use Inspiring Smite, which when I connect with a smite, I get... What is it? Do 2d8 need to... plus 3. Do you have done that beforehand? It says immediately after. Okay. It, it, it's all, as long as the smite connects, it works. Okay, okay, okay. So I get 13 temporary health. Ka, 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 boy. Mm -hmm. Nice. He says clip clop, motherfucker. And I go <laughs> clip clop right back at you, fucker. No, that's you. That's you. Oh, said clip -clop. I thought he clip clopped at me. No, why would he do that? Because he, 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 he clip flopped over to me. Well, You're no, he's one. a fish centaur. No, he's a fish centaur. Oh. He goes glub glub. Yeah. He flip flopped over to me and I clip clopped yes. on him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> Wait, so does he clip so are flip there like flop. front front like horse legs and then the back half is yes. like a ah okay. Don't mm -hmm. you wish that your back half clip clop too? <laughs> instead, you're slithering in the goo. Don't you? So it's like instead of like a horse back, is it like a walrus back? Yeah, it's I, like think a, I think it's like a big carp back. So he's got like a fish ass and a horse. Mm -hmm. It's like Pico. Horse it's like yeah. Pico, but except when Pico has a horse head, 
it like turns Has into a, a man torso. It's like a horse ghost. <laughs> horse ghost, coast to coast. Yeah. This is the most terrifying human centipede style, human centarpede I've ever heard of. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, am, I am done, by the way. 24 you, points okay. damage. Yeah. It's Galatea's turn. Great. So Galatea is going to use her bonus action to get booed. All right. Galatea also hears uh, Dilly goes like, Kaka! And you hear the, like, the spirit stuff. Uh, she's going to use her reaction to give you advantage on your attack. Nice. Well, that's pretty cool. Cuckoo. Yeah. Uh, Galatea is going to wait. Can I control me? No, wait. I'm doing the wrong thing. There we go. I'm me. All right. So, um, am I able to casually uh, just kind of push Mirror back? You can't push her, but you can step closer and then move out of that space again if you want yeah that no that's okay i'll move up to here it's like if she's that big she literally should be able to just pick her up and place her somewhere else that costs an action i shouldn't cheat <laughs> technically i could grab you and drag you but we'll figure it out i have stuff um i'm going to just wail on this guy who hit this girl i like very much okay girl bird lady yeah, girl. Mm -hmm. bird, bird girl, bird lady. Winged lady. Winged lady. How dare you hurt my winged lady friend. Wham. <laughs> oh, my hero. Maybe Academia. we'll see. Academia. <laughs> God damn it. I have... That and that, I would like to do a. Oh yeah, it's doing it on here, right? He attack, he advantage. Mm -hmm. Does a thirteen hit? Yes. Wow. All right. Well, here we go. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do. Uh, as as she does, you see her hammer get wreathed in flames as she smacks down on this guy, and I will need a. Uh, let me scroll up to the big thing. Uh, 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 fire rune, strength save. DC 15. Okay. He saves. Cut. See, that. Use. Oh, that does it. Okay, no, I can do this here. Let me just... There we go. I found the way to do it. DC 13. That doesn't seem right. Might Stop not be adding. Strength. Hmm. I'll check that out later because I don't know what it's basing it, it on. It's not wisdom. my strength. <clears throat> no, that was the stone rune. I was plugging both in so that it consumed them both. Sorry. Uh, might not have proficiency or something because you're missing two. Oh, uh, that must be what it is. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. We roll that damage, which is nine fire damage. Then we roll this damage. Uh, was that. So he saved. Does he get. Resist, or if how he that saves, <laughs> no, he would just be restrained if he didn't save. Okay. 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 So then we're going to roll this damage. Which is 14. So I hit him for 23 damage. Because he hurt my friend, my very yeah. special friend. Oh, that's the total, yeah. Yeah. Boop. Okay. And then, as an action surge, I'm going to scoop up Mirror and put her behind me with my hand. Yeah. Which I assume I can it's do mirror. using an action. Yeah, I'll, I'll allow it. I, right. I don't I'll know myself. how I ought to... Uh, work with the whole like this person is moving out of range thing if something else moves someone else it doesn't count right so it doesn't yeah that's, that's kind yeah, of how forced it movements yeah, that's so te technically you can do that as a player like i could grapple mirror yeah. normally and just drag her away but it takes my action to do it so. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, i was just trying me. to figure out if there should be a a reaction to this guy but mm -hmm. nope i think that makes sense 
No. If I were to drag her bodily and I moved, then yes. Um, so as as she swings, you just see her like do a a weird little like scoop that's like kind of like a ballroom swing style scoop, and she strikes this guy across the face, and then for a moment turns around and gently sets him here down. She's like, "Are you okay? Are you, are you yeah, you? thank you. Okay, I'm thank gonna beat you. him up. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll okay. help." And she just turns back around angrily. That's my turn. I'm done. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. <laughs> oh my okay. god. Oh. You know what? I'm not gonna say that. No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, something about it, she wants to get in that bird's bush. Yeah, basically. Yeah. That's why it's not a thing. Ha 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 ha. Move on. <laughs> Okay, it is now Delilah's turn again. I am unable to move my moonbeam, but can you please move it onto this dude? Sure. So bonus action, shifts my moonbeam. It's moon. There's two of them. Shift my moonbeam. Shift my moonbeam. Okay. And then shift them. Um, you know that. She's... <laughs> Alright. Okay. Alright. She's going to use one of her one-a-day spells. One-a-day she... spells? Yeah, she, she got it um, as one of her... Features her feet, her fey touch. Oh, so she gotcha. is able to use Bane because they are now within thirty feet of her. So I can target up to three creatures. Okay. I'll target those two. Christmas Rem- saving throws, please. Well, before they roll, you will remember you will lose your moonbeam for this. <clears throat> is it a concentration? Oh, okay, then so never mind. That is not what I want. Leave my moonbeam there. Okay, um, she'll just get to that spot anyway because she needed to for her cantrip frostbite. She's gonna. So Sarah's being like right there. Do anything? Nah, it's fine. Okay. So she she's gonna because it looks like uh, Galatea has has the one pretty handled the moonbeams on it so she's going to try to help the ones over there and so she's casting frostbite on this one so uh, you must do a con saving throw it does not save right That's the first save that these stupid things haven't made <laughs> It's point. true. <laughs> However, it has Got been the next weapon attack roll. Yes. So I think, like, with one one HP of cold damage, that's like you get some painful goosebumps. You're like, ugh. <laughs> Froze your toe. Yeah. <laughs> your tail. Did, yeah. That draw, did that draw blood? No. Ouch, though. Yeah. It's yeah. like, yeah. ow. Yeah. So she moves. That was her action. She did her bonus action. She's got her reaction saved. So. Okie dokie. It's centaur time. It's centaur time. It's this bottom one. All right, bottom centaur, what you want to do? Hey, you. What you, be a what you, what you going to do? What you want to do? Be a bottom. I think it's gonna go ahead and try and attack you again because you're strong and big and stuff. So here's some hooves to your face. Theros. Does a 13 hit you? Nope. Miss. I get my big old shield up in time and you see her. My clang. Angrily, it rises its pike to try and strike you once more. And it misses. Yay for disadvantage. Hits the shield again, just 
Stop I actually it. didn't it. roll disadvantage and it still missed. Uh, well, let's go. Cheryl. Uh, I'll re-roll <laughs> this one to see if I get any ones. How about that? Well, does it matter if they get ones? No. no. Okay, no. never mind. Okay. We don't we don't do critical so some, failures. Yeah, some people rule like house rule critical failure yeah. stuff, but that tends to be real swingy. Okay. Well, he tried real bad and failed, and we're gonna say it's because uh, she got him like in the nipple, and it's really bothering <laughs> him. Well, I mean that's that's that, what you get. That having... tracks for Tiki actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you get. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, like this. Little pinch and twist <laughs> with the frost. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, I will cast uh, Inflict Wounds on this one that I'm touching right now. Okay. Uh, so, I think I have to make a melee attack, yeah. Oh. Uh, well? Hold on, Defender wins? Uh, attacker, so. if it matches, wins. You sure? Yes. I thought it was the because dice it's roller. the armor. Yeah, the the attacker wins uh, if they match the armor class. The defender wins if they match DC. Whoever's rolling wins. Equals or exceeds. Win. Yeah, it's it says if the total of the roll plus modifiers equals or exceeds, it hits. So if it equals it, if it's 12, then I hit. If it's 13, then I do not. Okay, then you hit. Okay. Will it do it right? Let's hope. I think it will. Should be, but nope. Just click that 3d10 on your thing. Yeah. For some reason, I didn't have it until I hit attack again. So I'm Should be 40 10. Uh It's a total of 20 damage. Okay. I... I couldn't hit the damage button. It wasn't there. Like, it's been freaking out. Whoops. Yeah, 20 I damage to I applied healing. Teehee. Because I cast it at level 2. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Best damage spell in the game, for some reason. Yep. Really? I mean, Yeah, 3d10 at level 1? Straight out of the box. Like, inflict wounds. Does yeah. what it says is gonna. Um... <laughs> Then my spiritual weapon. Oh, I still can't move it. But I'm going to move where it is, because that's where I should have gotten the first turn anyway. Okay. And, and then it can it can just swap with me. Okay. I'll move out of the way so it's easier it's to good. do. Cool. Uh, and it will attack. I can't do anything other than that. Where are you? It could do a dance. So it swings. 17. He tits. 11 damage. Okie dokie. He's looking a little rough around the gills. Mm. Uh, yeah, and that's the end of my turn. You ever just have gills on your butt? This guy does. Yeah. <laughs> Gross. All right, Nerys, you're up. Okay. The uh, centaur that is in the moonbeam, I'm going to hex. Mm -hmm. And then I will choose um... violence. <laughs> I think I will choose intelligence. And then I'm going to cast, since that's a bonus action, I get my, I'm going to cast Mind Sliver. And it has to make a saving throw 15 intelligence that doesn't get the, the problem from Hex, but because that only affects skill checks. You said 15? Yes. He saves. Okay. Uh, then that is the end of my turn. 
Did you do any damage? Nope, nope because mine sliver missed. Okay, just check it. Because you didn't put the thing in the thing, so I didn't know. Uh, Mirror, it's your turn. All right. So that uh, centaur that is still in the moonbeam and causing my new uh, girl girl boss best friend issues, I'm going to do some dissonant whispers at it. Of a good friend. Oh, I had it on self-roll. My apologies. I see why that didn't. Oh, okay. Uh, also, I figured it out. It's con for my stuff, not strength. Oh, okay. That's why. <clears throat> there we go. Hex and Mind Sliver are now in the uh, chat log. Yeah, okay. I uh, I rolled off the button in your thing, so it probably did the right check anyhow. Anywho. Okay. Mirror of Dissonant Whispers. Yeah. Um, let's see. It has to do a uh, wisdom save for 14. If it fails it, it takes all the damage. And if it succeeds, half the damage. It saved. Of course it did. These guys are lucky. So yeah. I take five. Five, yeah. But they've been missing, so I'll take it. Mm-hmm. Okie dokie, hokey pokey. What else do you want to do? I'm going to... Actually, what I'm going to do is move away. So... There you go. Yeah. So I'm going to move close to Dilly. It's about here. Okay. You are the chewy nougat center. <laughs> So, yes, and now my turn is over. Okay. You don't want to bonus action anything? Uh, you know what? You let me anybody? Yeah, let me let me inspire my girl boss best friend. So, let me hit that button. Hit that like button. Smash. Oh, don't st don't smash me. Not while you're large. <laughs> okay. So you're done now? Now my turn is over. Okay. Hello, Hex Centaur. It's your turn. You're in the moonbeam. Can you like me move me really quick so I can just hit that button? Oh, uh... If it's a pain, I can scroll up. I'm scrolling up already. Uh... Come I found on. it. I found it. I'll just okay. use this. He does not save. One second. So you get what? 2d10? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Let me find where I go. Come on, box yeah. cars. Or. Calls to mind a silver screen. <clears throat> Eight damage. <laughs> nice. Alright. Better than four. Yeah. So Centaur winds up and is like, oh, oh, yuck. Oh, God. But in a no, much, I'm in a much uh, more badass way. This, this guy, he's not, it's not squeaky, squeaky. That's not a word. It's Whatever. like, oh, no. My skin. My, my skin. He's gonna try and cast this thing, which I will make it so you guys can see in a second. It's okay. Dreadful glare. He's gonna cast it on Galtea. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah. It is a saving throw 12 DC, but you're still in the thingy where you guys are, have is it wisdom ones you still get for your? No, 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 no. It's just... Uh... No. Perception. Perception, perception. Yeah, perception, yeah. 
Okay. And then I have to be able to have the ability to use my reaction. Okie dokie, hokey pokey. Well, you very much. Earl the nineteen. So. She's she feels a dread moment of fear, but then looks back to mirror and glares forward, <laughs> reinvigorated. <laughs> nice. All right. So that did nothing, and now you're immune to dreadful glare for a day. Awesome. Nice. And that's that's his turn. Oh my god, you guys, these are centaur mummies. <laughs> Theros, you hear? Ha ha! You have an advantage. <laughs> You're really the hearing that. The fuck was that? <laughs> the eyes of the <laughs> eagle are upon you. Yeah, but it's Dilly. It's Dilly yelling "Ha ha!" Though. <laughs> uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, seeing how uh, the centaur was clippy clopping at his shield before. Uh, he gets. He does like a little, a little leap up, and is going to try to shield bash him prone. Okay. Using one of the charges on the shield to just flat out knock him on as I like slam him into the ground. Do it up, Buttercup. I think it just automatically happens because I'm using like I don't. I'm using the shield. I'll double check. Okay. I don't get like a opposed check or anything. Uh, holding tower shield. Uh, additionally, the shield is three charges or gain. Blah blah. Expended charges daily at dawn. If you are holding the shield and push a creature with within your reach at least five feet away, you can expend one charge to push that creature an additional ten feet, knock it prone, or both. So it sounds like you have to push first, which would be a special okay. type of melee attack. Shove action, yeah. Strength athletics versus their strength athletics or dexterity acrobatics. So you can. But he, but he can use my advantage on this because it's an attack. Ye- Shield ye- attack. It's a the shove attack is a special kind of attack. Yeah, it's just the strength Spaceship. athletics. Yeah. Okay, but not yet. Yeah. I'll just make a. I didn't know I had to actually move them. Mm-hmm. So keep it to keep everybody in the the beam and whatnot. I'll just make a regular attack. You are at advantage this time. I mean, you could you could squiggle around them and push them south. <laughs> push them into the statue. I mean, they he just go back together he, anyway. He didn't say he had like if he can't move, he just. Is hitting the, he just hits the wall, right? Yeah, nothing happened. Eh. I mean, it depends. I'll just attack him. Okay. Spear. That'll do it. <laughs> yeah, you did it. Yep. Damn. Oh. Roll that damage. So you get both of those this Nine time. Nine plus proficiency plus two, right? Nine plus four plus two, yeah. So fifteen, then times two. No, unless you just, the crit, just roll the right? damage. Okay. Yeah, you could uh, double the dice roll. Oh, so normally it'd be a one d six. Got you. Right. Yeah, okay. yeah. It's only two d six if I throw it. Okay. So but because yeah. the formula on this thing is weird. It yeah. Always so it was rolls two. Fifteen, fifteen damage total. Fifteen damage mm-hmm. total. Now, Theros, and I don't want to tell you how to do your job. Yeah, he's yeah. debating it. Okay. <laughs> if you want to, the dice do double. Y- you know what? After kill that guy, I'm going to just fucking... I'm just going to do it. I got, I got a real bloodlust lately. <sighs> Crush. You're seeing, you're seeing red? Absolutely. <laughs> Theros is... Uh, he pretty Fight much likes... Simple stabs like the the spear stabs into him and it is like nostrils flare and you can see like the, the like the little pinpoint of like and like holy light like start to come off the spear and then that's a lot of dice kaboom. yeah paladin when they crit uh fireworks <laughs> 
I will so, say. Uh -huh. Cast is. That uh, seems like like what's up? I think. Did you spend a level one spell slots? All you have right now, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know why it would get crazy. You got that. two extra dice on that, probably because it's expecting an undead. Okay, so then it's a 23 it's and not a 23. It's a 23, which is still insane. So ridiculous. I'm just going to let you know that that guy had 6 HP left, so it doesn't matter. Explosion. <laughs> <laughs> Overkill. Yeah, like the, it's whole the best kind like, of kill. From here all the way across and up, it just atomized. Just like <laughs> spray he of is gore. Like, asunder. All, all of us are very confused. We're like, did you cast two moonbeams? Dilly, what happened? You just chummed that guy. <laughs> Yeah. He's taking out yep. his Pico aggression on this guy who looks yeah. a little bit like Pico. <laughs> That's oh gotta goodness. be it. All of a sudden, I can see uh, I can see Theros on the other side of the centaur. Nope. Wait a second. <laughs> oh. Oh, you hit him so hard, you killed the other guy. It's just like, <laughs> no, like, it just took the top half off of him, so all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, you were on that side, yeah. <laughs> and he's I dead. I yeah, dead. You did indeed do a thing. All right, it is Galtay's turn if you're done. I'm done. Okay. I can't Gal do anything, anything else, else to him. Galatea in a cold rage just raises up her her mace and just glares at this guy. How dare you? Brings the hammer back down on him. Smash. Smash. He's having a very lovely afternoon. That does hit, yes. Cool, cool, cool. For nice. 15 damage. Nice. As she just brings it into... Uh, so she went across his face and with the second hit, she swings and hits him right in the fish gut part. Aww. So like a boof, because it's like knocking the wind out of him, but it's the second part of the wind. He has two torsos. My kidneys and my lungs. <laughs> Oof. So what I'm saying, Daddy 2 PP. <laughs> uh, oh, bring it all the way back. Yeah. I don't think fish work that way. Uh, yeah. I, mean, I don't know. Do? Sharks. Sharks of fish. Um, do, 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 do. <laughs> so anyway, 15 damage. Um, yeah. Yeah. No bonus action. End my turn. Okay. Delilah, it's your turn. All right. So, <gasps> wait, uh, well, he didn't move out of her moonbeam, so she's not going to worry about that. Um, she, she's going to give like a really big thumbs up to Theros and going, good job, and uh, do another frostbite. At Theros turns red. The <laughs> yeah, Theros like, the thanks. <laughs> You're gonna so do another frostbite at the uh, the other one up there, so it uh, needs to do a con save. He does not save. All right, let's see if it's better than a one. Get another one! <gasps> Yay! Okay. Wow. How dare you curse um, her? But but disadvantage on the attack roll. Yep. Yeah. Do you have um, a bonus action you want to do or anything? Like, uh, I don't know. Let's see. How, Mira, what is your health at? I currently have 15 HP, which is about half of what I should have. All right. I'll, I'll cast a... Yeah, because I can do a bonus action. Um, I'll do a, a bonus action you have healing word. Yeah. Yeah, because you hit her twice. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, no, but like I'm looking at your character sheet says 31, so I'm like, why can't I see that? Oh, because I'm sorry, I've been doing it manually. Okay. You might not want to do that in yeah. the future, so that I can keep track of how close to dead you are. That's fair. So, Mary, you six get six less. Hit, hit HP back. Okay. I'm like, Mirror's fine. This guy can attack her. You die. 
Whack. I'm down. Oh, multi-attack? Ow. Yay. Thanks, Tilly. Yep. Right, There's a little time. bit. Just a little time. bit of side eye from Galatea. Jealousy. <laughs> Ooh. Jealousy rears its big, large, not ugly head. Yeah. Thank you. Can I do it without touching? It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly you just see like my hawk like spirit thing like fly around her and then circle around the big area again. Galatea is actually just jealous of the bird. They have that connection, you fly. know. I wish I could fly around the pretty girl. Ugh, gross. Stay on the ground, thanks. <laughs> yeah, it's just uh, more you would have in common. That's why you want. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I see the recapitulation. Okay. No, I think I'll tell you just wants Mira to perch on her. We can do that, too. <laughs> just hold my arm out like this. So, Alexis, it's your turn. Yep. <laughs> well, my centaur has ceased to be. Um... Yeah, you know what? There's going to be more crazy things. So he's going to move his spiritual weapon to there. Um, okay. And then uh, he's going to cast Toll the Dead on um, the remaining centaur. Mm -hmm. There we go. There's a DC 15 Wisdom. Oh no, he fails. Roll big. Oh hey. Ten. Hey. Nice. And then let me get my spiritual weapon to attack. That hits. And I'm scrolling back up. Here we go. Well, okay, well. From across the arena, Charles is like, nope. <laughs> Just ring the bell. Boom. Uh, You're late for class, bitch ass. Yeah, so. All right, well. That was fun. Which statue? Which statue that we just. And he just kind of trails off. <laughs> Uh, as it as it goes down and you ask that like Nerus just kind of like points behind him. Ah. Uh, yeah, that might have been my fault. I mean, it's gonna happen. Um, I noticed earlier when when I finished the Poseidon statue, nothing happened, but the ice seemed to change somehow magically. So I, I don't know. I, I say we still finish them all. Just be ready. And then. And he's just staring at the Poseidon statue. Maybe I get to break it again. <laughs> he sounds a little too happy about that. <sighs> nice. Galatea lifts up mirror bodily. He's like, are you hurt? Do you have, or do you need more help? Uh, can I do anything? I mean, I got a. I got I got hooves pretty hard, but um You gotta be extra careful. If they hit you in the head, you can get a concussion. Yeah, and I don't want that. I heard no. it makes you silly. Yeah, no, it's it's not good. A few too many deer kicks to the head for some people that I knew in the forest sometimes. And then as she's talking, like she slowly shrinks back down until she's just like got her arms kind of around you a little bit. Mira is appreciating the attention and she's just like, oh my gosh, yeah. She has absolutely no idea why she's being so nice to her, but she loves it. She's like, oh my gosh. All right, friends. Uh, we are approaching 10 o'clock, which is later yep. than we normally go. And I know some people probably yep. want to get to bed. So And some, and some food. And I'm some hungry. Food. So... I say we wrap it up here tonight, and we'll start here Thank in you. two weeks. We'll put so, more statues yeah. together. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And maybe Wait, break we one. We need to remember which ones we got. We got Aries. We got. Oh, yeah. oh, you put a three on them. Right. Okay, never mind. Mm -hmm. 
In case you haven't figured it out, all statues are comprised of three pieces. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like the shrine of the silver monkey, Monkey, as it should be. It's multiple silver monkeys down here. Yeah. This is the shrine of the silver murky. So Mm -hmm. the centaur pop, the centaurs come out, the temple guards, they're just like, hey. Yeah. All right. So shrine of the silver murky, is that the title? (laughs) No. Uh, well, no, we had a better one. What was it? Maybe it's Merbeline. Maybe it's Merbeline. It's Merbeline. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fair, fair. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight, everybody. We'll be back in two weeks. Mm-hmm. And hopefully we won't get ourselves murdered putting statues together. Yay! Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, that is Bye-bye. the desire. So don't kill like overkill. Bye, everybody. <laughs>